Thank you for your pledge on Patreon, Sherrod Gray. Hey, yo, Flip. Yo. I'm going to put you on some fire, man. They got this new bed wash company. They got the lotion and the, the everything. What's their name? They got a recovery room. It's What's out- the name? Uh, Maestro's, Maestro's Classic. Hey, money's up front. I'll put, put you, you on, put you on, on, you on the Maestro's, you sure? man. You forgot where I brought you? You forgot where I brought you oh, up there? Oh, man. You forgot? You forgot man. about Ghost? All right, all right. Who is what's his name? Ghost. You know again? He cool, man. <laughs> Ghost is cool, man. Yo, make sure you get your Maestro's Classic Bed Care products yes. today at Target, CVS, mm-hmm. or go on maestrosclassic.com and use the promo code QUEENSFLIP to get 10% off. 10%? That's it? I thought, Ten- you, I thought it was free if you put your... Are you crazy? All right, I get it. Make sure you go there today. Log on. Maestro's with a S dot com. I'm from Queens. G Money! Yo. What's up, man? What up, though? What's going on? I'm all right, man. How you feeling? Feeling good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you sharp. Look sharp today. That's a sponsor. Who's sponsor you? JC Penny? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> Reverend <laughs> Al? <laughs> what you mean you was at today? What you was at today? Nah, my son Dawson had a um, he had, he had a Black History Month show. Oh, so wow. The, the, the whole, like, renaissance thing. So he performed, you know, his class. So they tried to get all the parents to, you know what I'm saying, dress for the occasion. So I had to put, I had to go in the closet get song, you know what I'm saying? Go get me a little cut, get right. The little shoes on and all that, you know what I'm saying? I think he has the qualities that, that like, that... I never had. Yeah, like, I don't want to. I don't want to be disrespectful. Yeah, but like, you're missing actually. Yeah, nah, like he nah, is. He, he, he is does. not afraid to do anything, bro. Like he is a star. I was very similar though as a kid. Really? I was very similar. I used to, I used to perform in front of the family and go dance and all that and do that Michael Jackson stuff and the Usher stuff. I used to go and you know make the whole family wait and call me out of the room. I come outside and dance. I did all that, but he's like ten times that. So what he, made you change? Like you just got older. Like nah, that. That quality went to the DJing. Like, you know, you see when I DJ, it's a whole different. Yeah. But I be kind of chill here or chill when I'm hanging out. Like, he just be turned up all the time. Like, he's fire, yeah, man. He's, when he per- when, when I saw the video of him performing in front of all those people at Comic Con. It wasn't at Comic Con. Comic Con, yeah. I thought that was amazing. I'm like, yo, yeah. this kid is not afraid to do anything. That was on the spot, too. Like, that wasn't even, like, no playing or rehearse. Like, my mom was there with us, you know, out in San Diego. You know, shout them practical jokers a lot. And she was like, yo, they was talking for, like, 10 minutes. She was like, yo, once you let him, after they done talking, let him jump on the set. I'm like, nah. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, they already called me out here. I brought my song with me. I don't want to make it look crazy. She's like, he's fine. Let him play two songs. And I put him up there. They crazy. He didn't even stop, hesitate, nothing. He went right to the right to the turntables. And, got and he it. knows how to pick the songs yet and stuff like that? Uh, look, not really. But he, 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 know how to, he know how to mix it. If you give him two songs there, he'll, he can bring it back for you a couple times. And really? Do a little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I challenge him again. Oh, my. You lost last time, man. Oh, oh <laughs> I did. I did. I did. But I, I feel good about this next guest. A lot of, a lot of stuff is behind the camera. Mm-hmm. Took down a lot of footages I heard. They, you know, he took down footages, they said, man. Mm. They sent me a footage. Who sent me? I think uh, I think Fayback sent me a footage and said, yo, you know, this is un- it had his logo on it. Mm. But, it's not, but, it's, but it's not online. But it's not online anymore. No, it was with Poe and, and, and I think. I uh, why. Poe and Gumby, I think. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if you remember that. But we're going to get, we get introduced to you yet. But yeah. <laughs> but I want to get straight into it. G-Money! Let's do it, yo. And he look, you know, he got something nice on the, t- you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. G-Money! Yo. Episode 152. Nigga, we made it. We got a special guest. Yes, Ooh. yes. Light-skinned dudes are back. You feel me? Came in here looking like... <laughs> Shining Prince Armor, man. I got a nice lady with him. I don't know what's going on, man. Huh? Round of applause. Sub Zero in the building. What up, man? Sub Zero, what's good, y'all? Uh, How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome to Flip the Script. Oh, I appreciate it, man. I heard a lot about y'all, man. A lot about y'all, man. Oh, Lord. Now, I thought the- I had bold interviews. I, I see y'all are bold with it, man. Yeah, I mean, we try to do things a little different up there. Now, <laughs> yes. behind the scenes, you, you mentioned that you don't do many interviews. Like, you, usually the person that's over on this side of the spectrum. Right, right. So, what Facts. made you, you know, uh, accept the offer for today, man? To come up oh, here? man. Oh, got two two tall twins, twin towers. Mm-hmm. My man, Sekou from Baltimore, man. I mean, so many people hit me up. You know, uh, my daughter is a big fan of y'all. Wow, wow. You know what daughter, I'm saying? She was really. like, yo, you got to do them. You got to do them. And a few other guys, my man, Smith. It was just so many people saying, yo, uh, Tone Trump mentioned Sub-Zero. Tone Trump mentioned Sub-Zero. <laughs> yo, uh, um, the other guy, Fabian, they made me watch that. Yo, your name was mentioned. Mm. And then I heard the um, homie say, uh, do anybody know Sub-Zero? They said, yo, you're going to be next. Yo, you got to do that show. I was like, yo, y'all serious? Oh, these they, talk about, they talk about your life. Remember, like, when I was young, like, growing up, there's a lot of Sub Zero DVDs out. Like it was Smack. I also saw Sub Zero, yeah, man. Yeah, I also yeah. want to get into that in a little bit, you know, because 
Smack his home team. I want, I want, you know, I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna get into a lot of stuff, man. I, wanna, I hope you're not afraid to talk. Nah, we're gonna keep it real all the way. No, it's all the way. Real shit, all the way. You don't do that. You yes. do that. That's trouble. Like, man, play something else, G. Uh, no, 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 that's all I got right there. Somebody it. called me like, "Yo, G been on the sound effects lately." I said, "He's wildin', son. He's wildin'." But yeah. welcome. Well, can yes. you introduce the lady or she? Yes, sick? this is this is Mimi Suno, yo. This is one of my cover girls. Check it out. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, it's Mimi, Mimi Suno. Suno right there, y'all. Mm. North Carolina. Flew all the way over here to do Flip the Script because we heard oh. this is big. Wow. Oh. So I say, look, I just need you there as eye candy right now. This is big. Okay. Hey, you know. Alpha, please. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Yes, yes. yes. Y'all got her. Y'all got my. Y'all got her nervous. <laughs> I didn't see her like this. Guy. Right. She, she, was like, she was like, "What the?" <laughs> she was like, "Ooh, we got this under control." Bobby, you let me see Bobby. Wow. <laughs> He's smooth, man. Like, it's, different, it's different today. I don't know. I don't know where we're going today. It's going. I don't know. She just start on. Let's start on slow because so, this man. Slow. Yo, I'm gonna show you some clip. I want you to watch something. This man is crazy, bro. Let's start off slow, G. I, let, 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 I'm following your lead, G. Whatever okay. you want me to do, I will pop it off, man. Cause he got some nice joint hair, <laughs> showing off. To my baby oil and all this time. Uh -huh, yeah, so so this guy, man. This guy different over here. Yeah, I wanted my girl to shine, shine in the camera. The baby oil will make things look way better. <laughs> Can we find some baby oil? Let me see. Do we got anything here? I got, I got a little. What's the, I, G, dog, G. I got a little Vaseline. Vaseline. That's not enough, though. We need some more. <laughs> <laughs> We look at baby Basco, wow. please put it down that we need baby oil for the studio. <laughs> yes. Please. Please. <laughs> so uh yeah, so I, I think you, you, want, you want to take our time with this one? Yeah, you want, yeah, you yeah, want, yeah, what you want, want to do, man? Let me know, G. You know, he said he don't do many interviews, so that, that means that no one really knows the, the Sub Zero story behind it before facts. Sub Zero started. You know what I'm saying? So facts, let's uh facts. where are you from originally? From Harlem. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, Harlem. Wow. Right really? there. Yeah. Born and raised? Born and raised. Mm. All day. I could not guess where you where, where you were from. You you be outside everywhere. I I, I see you in Brooklyn. I see you in Queens yeah. City. I'm I basically from the, from the East Side, 105 First Avenue, man. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Talk about your childhood growing up. Oh man, rough life, man. Mm -hmm. Where you want me to start at? Beginning. Let's, let's, let's go back. Basco, can you pass my phone, please? It's probably my wow. My phone, Basco, oh. please. Yeah. Yeah, she looking like I'm interested. In that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, <laughs> nobody heard this Sub Zero story. You no, know, like everyone, everyone knows the DVDs and all that, and they they, they see that you were celebrities. But yeah. we try to do a different approach approach up here on, on our on our platform. You know what I'm saying? We want to get to know the our guests a little bit more, a little deeper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah well, I was always a guy, man. In my teens, getting a lot of money, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I was the out of town guy. You know, I grew up on 105 and first. So I had to watch the dude Alpo, you know what I'm saying? He lived right across the street. You know, we looking mm -hmm. at this guy. And um, you know, from Harlem, you got you got you got Rich, you got all these guys. I wanted to know how these guys was getting money, and I'm standing on the corner, hands frostbit, toes frostbit, mm -hmm. and I'm only making sneaker money, but these niggas is buying Jeeps, flipping it over, flipping motorcycles over and leaving it in the street. I'm like, yo, how these niggas is even getting cars? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, my man said he had some uh, people in Baltimore, man. I heard that these guys are getting cars because they go out of town, get five times the profit. Mm. So we landed in Baltimore, man, and then uh, the money was just bananas. Like, it's like five times faster than Baltimore. I mean, the New York, uh, five times the profit than New York. You know, so you get a car in like two weeks. You can move a key in like three days. So uh, I was in that era, like around 96, getting a lot of paper, man. And, uh, you know, BMWs, Honda Accords when they was popping. Mm -hmm. You know, starting at my teens. Right. You know what I'm saying? In and out of jail. <clears throat> you know, go go to jail, come home. And... He's out here wilding. Yeah, basically, man, basically. But what's the household like, though? Yeah, we don't paraphrase. The, yet, ho so. the household, you know, mom spoiled me, mm -hmm. got me anything I wanted. You know, when I was a kid, I wanted a mini bike, and that was big because it had a motor. Right. You know, so mom Dukes really tried to get it for me. You know, we wound up getting a spree, a scooter, mm -hmm. and I was excited with that as a kid. You know what I mean? So uh, when moms cut me off, I was used to that spoiled life, man, so I had to go get it. Why'd she cut yeah. you off? Oh, I was getting too old now. She's like, it's time to get a job. 
but I didn't have real money now. I could never work, you know what I'm saying? And then mm -hmm. uh, I took a job for a week, and the paycheck was $90, but I missed the swimming pool. I missed going to the jam, the block parties, because they got me working for 12 noon to 12 at night in some um, bouquet as security. I said, I'll never do this again. So I worked one week in my whole life. I said, this is for suckers. I just can't mm. do it, man. You know what I'm saying? I never worked again. Always got fast money. So, uh, you know, went to jail, came home the second or third time, and then said, man, I got to find a different way. And uh, I tried to see how K. Slade did it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to cut you off, but yeah. <laughs> we, we want to take our time up here. Okay, and, okay. And get a, you know yeah, what I'm saying? The, yeah. the details yeah, and all that. Yeah, get a deep <laughs> sort of talk. Uh, life's good, dude. You trying to skip everything. We don't want to know about your father. We yeah, don't know about everything, bro. <laughs> What you get to you know go to jail for? So we got a few questions. You know what I'm okay, saying? So okay. first of all, where was your dad at the time? It was you and your mom by yourself, or your dad was never there, keeping it 100, right? He was so you don't know your son. pops? Just my mom's. You don't know your pops at all? Yeah, I know him. He was there. You know, he came. I mean, he came around a few times, gave a few hundreds, but he was never in the life. You know what I mean? Mm. Always Mom Dukes. Mm. So moms tried to raise a man. You got any siblings? Nah, just me. Only child. Only child. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're growing up, only child. Your mom, mom's spoiling you, holding you down. Spoiling me. Give me anything I want. But Sneakers you, every Friday. But you still, but you still saw the street life. You still saw the yeah, fast I'm, money and still interested in, in, in following those, those footsteps. Yeah, because I'm right there in Harlem and I'm seeing these spaceships and I'm wondering how these dudes is doing it, man. We got this dude named Big Dave, this big ass rope chain. You know, Boy George was popping in. And uh, his crew lived around my way. These guys had drops and, you know, all types of cars. I'm seeing this, but I'm standing out selling crack, and I can't get this money. What the fuck am I doing wrong? Oh, pardon me. I'm just kidding. But what am I doing wrong that um, I'm hustling hard? And, you know, then finally um, uh, we had these dudes around my way uh, had some things called gold caps. And uh, when they come out, we can't sell anything. It's like, you know, it wasn't by force. Mm -hmm. It was like the crackheads walked past us. What are these guys giving out? So we tried to do with uh, Poe and all these guys was doing, giving away mad crack, you know, for $3, just giving it away. Mm -hmm. These guys had these little tiny trays, a quarter size of our things, shutting us down. So we, we you know, we rid it off to he adding dope to the crack. We thought it was voodoo. We, don't, <laughs> we didn't... We didn't know it was just good crack. So we wound up all shooting at them and doing all types of things. Really? Yeah, and um, the guy was strong. I was really a stupid little kid. He could have blew my brains out, you know mm. what I'm saying? One day we was at the light, and we scheming on them, and the gun came through the window. They could have blew my brains out, but he said, hey, man, let me talk to you, man, because he knew my uncle. He said, yo, you know, you shooting at my workers. What, what's the problem, man? His name was Cal, right? Cal. He worked with Boy George, and, you know, et cetera. And um, I said, yo, when y'all niggas come out, man, I can't sell nothing, man. I don't know what it is. I said, I'm just trying to get a few ounces. I want to go out of town. He was like, a few ounces? Like, he looked at me like I was crazy. Mm. So he wound up saying, come to my office, and I'm going to give you a few ounces. He wound up giving me an eighth. But I took it to Baltimore, and it blew their minds, the coke out there. The guy said, we never heard our ears ring like this. Like I said, what are your feelings? Like a woo. <laughs> so we came right back with all the money, and I was like, yo, I need another one of those. And he was like, um, that wasn't part of the deal. Mm. I was like, yo, I need another one, please, man. And uh, he wound up being our connect. And one day, um, one day he said, uh, take a walk with me. I took a walk with him. He said, look on top of the roof. And it was two shadows looking at us with binoculars. He said, the feds is on me now. And I said, wow, you, you, you see him. Why don't you all run? He said, I don't run. He said, you're not going to see me no more. He said, no more time for little apes. I got to give you a key. I said, oh, key? What, what do you mean, man? I, I'm nervous. I can't handle a key. I just want another eighth. So, you know, he gave me my first key, man, and... uh. That that was I just never looked back, man. That was a funny story in itself too, man. That mm. key right there because he gave me the key and I put it on my bed and I tried to break it and I wound up taking the screwdriver. It was just so hard and compressed. 
that when I broke it, it shot all across the bed on the floor. So at the time, we had roaches and apple jacks and all types of stuff, me scooping this thing up. So I put it in a big-ass spaghetti pot, tried to cook it all, because I'm used to cooking apes. I put it in the pot, and the shit just foamed up like beer and went down the stove, went on the floor, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm fucking up the key. So I went to him, and I was like, yo, I fucked everything up. He was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I said, yo, the stuff just boiled over the pot. He said, did you throw the water out? I said, I didn't throw the water out. So he got this uh, girl named Sylvia that we knew, and she brought all of it back except for eighth. And she taught me how to cook coke. And sky was the limit, man. Sky was the limit, man. It's like, you know, now I'm in uh, Worcester, Massachusetts, Henderson, North Carolina, just all up and down 95 getting money, you know? Mm. But, uh... Who did you yeah. know at that time back in the days that was getting money? Like, you said, you know, so you yeah. was around, you saw Alpo in the street. Yeah, Alpo every day. Like, I look out the window, he right there, like, his you building. You saw Rich, was, too? Did, were they really together or no? I didn't. I never saw Rich... So Paul, I don't know if they was ever together, but uh, Paul used to hang with a whole bunch of other cats. Yeah, you know, I was I was like a Lower East Side guy. We wasn't dealing with the West Side then. You know what I mean? So it was like well, a who, guy. Yeah, Kev Frost. Who was getting that? Well, can you tell us the people that was getting it back in that time that you that you know that was getting it in the East? Oh, Boy George. Right, we had a dude named Kev Frost. We had the Alpo dude. We had uh, my man, a student named Gerald. Uh, my man, Cal. Cal Hudson, right? Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't think of guys now, but you, we, we had the legends out there. Like, uh, yeah, Vaughn Zip name was popping. Uh, uh, what's my man name, man? It's, it was, it was a lot of them, man. Uh, yeah, I can't remember these names right now. Jesse Gray. A lot of, lot, of, lot of colorful names. I can't remember them right now, but I was a little boy. You know what I mean? And uh, going to the Rucker games, and you see all these guys. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. So when she brought when she brought it back, what, you know, what's next? Like, she brought it back. What's next? What, what's your next move? Head to Maryland. And then what happened? Break, what, what goes through the Maryland thing? I had a cousin that lived in... Uh, had a, who had another? Yeah, I had a cousin who, li- no, I had a friend who had a cousin who lived in Baltimore, <laughs> right? So we wound up going to his house, sleeping on the floor, man, and uh, we was going to blocks. You know, we always looking for a fat girl, cause when you a fat girl and you make her come, we can use her house. You know what I'm saying? So we knew that we was fly Harlem oh, niggas. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. You know, <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah we, we we was fly Harlem niggas. Like you know, we used to say things like, "Yo, what? I don't even get down like that." And everybody in Baltimore up like, "Yo, he said he don't get down like that." Yo, yo, yo. So we just got a following on the way we talk, the way we dress. So we would look for a fat girl, you know, preferably with three chins. It's a big fat mess. I would dick her down, make her come three or four times, and then we got a house. You know what I'm saying? It was like it was like it was it was like that, man. We was taking over small towns. Oh, uh, the stick up kids, man. We found a solution for them. We just put them on our competition, like you know what I'm saying. If we got competition, like another New York dude, it's grimy game. You know, we put the stick up kids on them. We just tell her, give us the guns. You know, y'all can have the money, y'all can have the coke. Just give us the guns, because we lose guns every day in Baltimore. Mm. It's like it was like a zoo out there in Maryland. You know what I'm saying? So when Maryland got hot, we ended up in Worcester, Massachusetts. And the money out there was incredible, man. We By this time, my connect is hitting us with uh, Sledgehammer Dope. That was Boy George's. So that dope was like $10 in New York, but it was $50 in Boston. And, you know what I'm saying? So those, those, those bundles was going so fast. We was rocking bundles, man. And we just, somehow we just always outsmarted the cops that they had to play dirty on us. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, for example, they would pull me over and say, oh, give me your license and registration. And then they rip up our license. That's when it was the paper. Rip up our license and registration. Mm. Say, now take them to jail for no license and registration. You know, do us dirty like that. They could never catch us. Wow. You know, so when things got too hot over there, we wound up in North Carolina getting money. And Henderson, 
and that town was incredible, man. So you found another big girl out there, and you got the house. Yeah, always. That that's the plan. That's how you take over a small <laughs> town. You got to find a big girl that no one's no one likes. Whether she you know big, ugly, and you got to make her feel like a queen. She got to have her own crib, and you make her come. No one, you know, no one takes their time to make a girl come. Mm. You're not really turned on, so your dick is not gonna come no time soon. So you know you hitting her, and she coming, and now she says your whole crew can sleep on the floor, and that's how we save hotel fees. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's like, cause you other than that, other than that, you're gonna be spending money for hotels. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's real talk though. <laughs> G, what you know about these facts? G, what you know about these facts, boy? I don't know about no, not me per se. I'm just saying it. It, it makes you took, it, a, you it took, makes a, sense. You took something like that. Nah, <laughs> nah. Yes, you did, G. Nah. G. But there was a time though. It was a time. I was my boy, my boy Flashy. You remember Flashy? I don't remember. And we was out. We was out. Matter of fact, it was, it was with Flashy. Joe Money in there, right? Yeah, that, that situation. That. My fault for you know, yeah. <laughs> we was out. We was out of town. We was in North, North Carolina, I think South Carolina, one of them, one of the Carolinas. We was out there and. You know, he didn't take, I don't know what he did, but Flashy had met a girl that worked in the store. She had a crib. That's how you and guess. We, we, we had, it's we had the only no, way. We, we had nowhere to stay because, you know, the situation got a little funky out there, and they let us rock at their crib. Yeah, there you go. It wasn't the route he, you know, I'm yeah, just saying, like, I just, I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, it makes sense because. Yeah. And it was like, in, in, you know in Worcester, Massachusetts, it was so incredible because the nickel vial of Coke in New York was $50 out there. So to stay at their house, we was giving them a hundred a day. So we was only giving them two valves a day. So we was really giving them ten dollars a day. And we had people online begging us, take our house, take our house. We you know we had crackheads that would get locked up and come home and say, Y'all gonna get raided at one o'clock. And we was like always a step ahead of the police. Mm. It was like a crew of fifteen of us. So, you know, the way we did it was like when the crew would get hungry, I gotta buy everybody food. So we go to Dunkin' Donuts and we'd be like, oh, 10 egg and cheese croissants, 10, 10 egg and cheese sausage. We spent three and four hundred with pizza shops and donuts. They loved us when we came in town from the first to the 14th. Mm. You know, then we out for two weeks. You know, so those small towns took care of us. The cops was going to raid y'all. This guy's trying to stick y'all up. You know, so we was like untouchable. And then we was in hotels out there that you got to get buzzed in the two doors. So when the cops raid, when they buzzed in the first door, we get in the call on the third floor. Get out of there. <laughs> so, you know, we, was, we the money was just incredible, man. Anybody hustling in New York is an idiot. Hmm. You're not getting no money in New York. It's a quick flip. Uh, the risk is too great. You know, too many windows. You got to go to a small town, man. And, you, you know, three days, you three keys gone. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because the whole town, even people who don't want to get high, it's something to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't recommend selling drugs, you know. But yeah, of course. That's, if that's you got to do it, days. go out of town. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Straight so, like that. So, all right, so you're moving to shake and everything going good. When did you first get caught? You said you had like two or three. Uh, oh, man, we got caught, man, because. Uh, Take us to that time. Okay. Uh, I got a little 10-man team, and they starting to get a little rebellious now. Yo, you don't care about us, man. We want to eat, man. We want to eat. I said, no, 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 no. Sell some packs. And the first hundred y'all get, buy some food. Nah, man, nah, nah. You know, I, I should have should have cursed this dude out. But I said, you know what? Come on, let's go to the Chinese store. And we went in the Chinese store, all eight of us. And the Chinese store got raided. And, and my boss ass is in this store. I'm never out there. I'm in the store, some Chinese store in the hood because two or three guys in the team did a protest. They wanted to eat. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's about eight of us, eight of us, and it's about seven Baltimore dudes in there. And the cops raid the store, so they all searched the guys. One of the Baltimore dudes got a gun. He was going to rob us, right? But we didn't know it. But he wasn't going to rob us. We, you know. It just wasn't going to go down how he thought it was going to go down. We wasn't, we, were, we wasn't scared like that. Anyway, so the cops let all those guys go except the guy with the gun and say, yo, search the New York boys. I heard New York boys is in here. So he was asking us, where you from? And the guy said, I'm from Baltimore. Yeah, he's a New York boy. So they asked me, where you from? I'm from Baltimore, sir. They said, all right, you get out of here. So I'm walking away. I got away. 
They're asking all the guys. They got all the New York because they wasn't smart enough to give you know, the vote. As I'm walking up the block, I hear walkie-talkie saying, the boss is getting away. That's the leader. He's getting away. Black and yellow coat. I hear this shit. I'm like, oh, somebody's telling. They bring us back to the store. Hold all us in the store. Go across the street in the alley. Where we all had our drugs. The whole block. But we on, we on the block called Emerson and Monroe. Mm. Everybody said, it's like, this is open market crack. These guys get four packs, four G packs. They done found a couple of handguns. Took everybody's drug and put it on the nine New York boys. That was that's how I got caught the first time, man. Crooked shit. They never caught. They never really caught us. So we all go on the trial for the same four G packs, the same two or three handguns. We all got separate cases, and one guy took plead guilty to all that, but. It doesn't affect our case. I can't understand how they did it. They did this all separate. Mm -hmm. We all being charged for the same two handguns. And it was some crooked ass shit. And um, may I add, uh, yeah, the guy says, uh, the guy says to the judge, I want y'all to hear this right. The guy says to the judge, uh, he saw me selling crack. I'm telling my lawyer, I'm the boss. I just went in the store. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I'm never out here. They saw me put two handguns there. But they doing this to each one of us. We all got... So my lawyer says, oh, did you find his fingerprints on the gun? No. Mm. You said he was selling crack. Yeah. How many um valves, how many um packs was in that or G pack? So he gave him the number. It was an even number. He said, and how many people did he serve to? He served to three people. Did you catch the people he served to? Nah. He said, isn't that procedure? Yeah. Was any of the packs open? None of the packs was open. So he didn't get a chance to sell anything. So, you know, and it goes on. And the judge says, it's no doubt in my mind this cop is lying. But with all these drugs, I can't let you walk out. Your bail is 100 something thousand. You from New York. We can't let you go like that. So I wound up doing rotting in jail for five years behind some bullshit. You know, came home and uh, did the same stupid shit again. You know, blew up, bought cars in two weeks, got some keys. You know, the cycle continues until uh, somebody told me Akbar prayed. He called and said, uh, stick your hand under hot water is one thing. To stick it back under there looking for a different effect, mm. that's insanity. Yeah. I realized, hey, I might have been crazy. Cause I'm getting ready to do this shit a third time. Let me chill out. So I got into something, what I call a methadone program of this. And that's dumb. You know what I'm saying? I'm high. i am still got the party life. Still getting the fast money, still got the pretty girls. You know, this is like my methadone program to drugs. You know what I'm saying? Because I can never get the job again. You know what I'm saying? I got to have it fast because I have real money, man. You know, just wake up, go buy a dirt bike, go buy a four wheeler. You know what I'm saying? And get, get a job. That's, you know, that's just a sucker's life to me, man. So, what you mean the second time you blew up a car? What were you talking about? <clears throat> no, like, oh, uh, it only takes me about two weeks to get it. Nice BM, $35,000 car. Uh, you know, came home, blew straight back up. You know, back out of town doing it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, the cops used to catch us with handguns and say, uh, this 5000 we call on you. Forget this ever happened. Just get out of here. We thinking, God, thank you, God, man. Cause we can't go back to jail. You know what I'm saying? It's like the whole Baltimore's crooked. These cops is crooked, man. They ain't right. You know what I'm saying? They spend half the money. You know, they, it's, it's a, it's, man, America is crazy, man. It's crazy, man. It's a crazy game. Like, I, I see it. It's money out there, but if these cops can't get you, they get crooked, man. Put the, put the drugs on you. Like, I've been through so much, man. You know what I mean? This drug game, man. <laughs> Look, y'all want to know, man. <laughs> It's real, man. So you got locked up a second time? I got locked up a second time. Tell man. us how you got locked up the second time. All right. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Nah, cause yo, this should this should be this should be like surreal. All right. I'm in Baltimore, like I'm the police. I got two handguns on my side, shoulder holster, and I'm a ghost. Like you know, I hit alleys and run and disappear. Right? You, the human looking at me would think I vanished in thin air. What? He was just standing right. But you know, I know this is survival. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, you know, so um, at the time I'm building beepers. 
what I do is I walk around and I say, yo, I'm selling coke. And it's like, yo, I'm selling coke. Yo, you the police? Nah, man. You know, they hear from my accent. I'm from New York. And they see my swag. They be like, what are you selling it for? So basically, an uh, uh, ounce was uh, an ounce was six hundred in New York. An uh, ounce is twelve hundred in Baltimore. This is when things are slowing down now. And um, so if you buy an ounce, I front you an ounce, right? So because you're paying an ounce for twelve hundred, so you really bought two. Right. So I front you one to figure out who's who in the town. So you know, guys, some petty ass niggas step off with the other ounce. You know, they think they ram. You pay for that. But in the process, I'm getting good men. So now I'm building these beepers up to like 5,000 a day. And the good men, I give them the beeper. And I just leave a key with them. You know, but at the same time, beat Baltimore, man. Oh, I love y'all. These niggas so grimy. I had to keep drilling the niggas. Yo, I'm giving you 5,000 every two days. Don't shoot me in the head for no key. Because then the business stops. Like, you got to keep drilling this on them. Because these niggas will murder you out there in Baltimore, man. You know, so... um. Okay, I'm building up beepers now, man, and I'm leaving it with uh, my workers, and they beating people on bikes. I'm blowing up. So now we in this house, man. Uh, my man comes up from uh, come up from Baltimore. He meets me in New York. I'm on parole in Baltimore, and and uh, probation because from my first case. So he says, "Yo, I got a house." I got a house in Baltimore. I'm like, you got a house in Baltimore? So I'm thinking, God, I'm thinking this dude came from God because I don't have nowhere to stay out there. So I'm pissing in the jar and getting back on the bus going back to New York. But now this, my man's telling me he got a place to stay. I'm like, oh, my God, this guy is a gift from God. So now we go to his house, and he introduced me to his girl. He says, yo, before we come in, this is my girl. She's a stripper. She's gay. You know what I'm saying? This and that. I'm like... Hmm, this your girl. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to speed it up. I'm there for two weeks. Don't speed it up. Okay, I'm there, right? <laughs> and um, his girl has got an attitude with me. She says, um, you know, I tell her, yo, I don't like the smoking. She says, no, this is my house. I do what the f I want to do. So I'm like, damn, yo, what, what, what my man got me up in here with this evil chick, man? So I'm telling him, like, yo, your girl is bugging. I don't think she like me, man. She don't speak to me. We sitting here like it's quiet when you go to work. But the truth is he brought me there to watch his girl. He didn't know what she was doing while he was gone. Mm. So he really brought me there to watch it, but he told me he was looking out for me. So now we in this house, man, and, you know, one day his girl comes downstairs topless um, with some boxer shorts and her hat backwards. Mm -hmm. She's in nigga mode. And she's punching her fist, saying, yo, wake up, man, wake up. I want to tell you something, man. And I had just got finished reading the 48 Laws of Power, told you don't shatter people's mirrors. Always enter the mirror with them. Don't shatter the illusion. Go in the mirror with them. So I remembered that, and I was like, what's up, my nigga? Because she was in nigga mode. Like, she was a man. Like, she really, this was another side. She said, yo, check this out, man. You f***ing up everything I built here, man. I got, I got bitches that come here, yo. And you f***ing it up. This nigga brought you here to f*** it up. So I said, yo, my nigga, I'm with you. What, what's happening? She said, yo, if you with me, you with me? I said, yo, all I want to do is f*** the Philippine girl next door. She was like, that's my bitch. And I was like, yo, let me hit that. She banged on the wall. Boom, 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 boom. So the Philippine bitch come. And she's like, yo, this is my nigga right here. Give him some pussy. And... I got morning breath and everything. I'm tonguing this Philippine girl down, and we f right there in front of this girl. And from then on, it became like a movie. Like, my man would go to work, and she would say, come upstairs, we need a dick upstairs. And she, I go upstairs, and she got bitches tied up, hog tied up, and she sticking dildos in them, and she like, now nah, f her. F her in the ass, f her as hard as you can. And I'm like, what? And I'm banging bitches out. Yo, it's like, it's like, yo, it's like a movie in this yo, man. So, um, oh, yo, God, yo. You, you, <laughs> you, you pushed that dude. I'm excited over here, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are wild stories, man. They say, yeah, yeah, look at that guy. Continue, yeah. continue. Yeah, so, you know, this was going on. This was going on for months. And, like, my man, when he come home from work, 
he'll feel that something ain't right. Mm-hmm. So he thought I was f- his girl. I never f- his girl. I f- all his girl's friends like she was a dyke. Like she was all the way gay. She was just f- him for a place to stay. I don't think he knew that. But um, I'm banging all these girls out every day, man. But when he come home, he feels not, not wanted. Right. I don't even want him there. Because <laughs> goddamn, the party's over. Like I want him up. You know what I'm saying? So this is crazy. Now, uh, after a month of heaven and various strippers, all these girls, uh, it's almost five o'clock and the two girls is in the bed. And I say, yo, the nigga about to come home. It's almost five o'clock. You got to go. So one of the girls says, nah, f*** that nigga. I'm staying here. I'm taking this girl. And I tell this girl, yo, her name was Kita. I said, yo, Kita, get up. This nigga can ready to come home. You can ready to f*** up everything. She said, I'm sick of that nigga. F*** him. Like, 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 we're not going anywhere. And then, so I took this opportunity to pull the covers off because I wanted to see this other girl naked anyway. Like, she was a bad chick. So I pulled the covers off. Like, yo, yo, get the f*** out of this house. You can ready to f*** up everything. So it was like, um, nah, we're not going anywhere. And she pulled out a butterfly knife. Like, if that nigga come near me, I'm going to kill him. So I was like, yo, y'all girls, is crazy. Y'all really going to try to take over this nigga's house? Mm. This is like two months of heaven. We having fun. This day, they said they not getting out of the bed. So now my man come and shit. And I'm like, yo, let me warn you. Keita got a girl up there. She said she's taking your girl. She's not She's not getting out the bed. This is her house now. And all. I said, what? Yo, what? He pulls out a handgun and cock it back. He ain't shoot nobody. Mm. I grab this nigga. Yo, yo, don't do it. Don't do it. I wrestle the gun out of his hand. All acting and shit. He goes upstairs and the bitch is like, what? What? So his girl like, I hate you. She pushes him through the wall. And she start kicking and punching him like the wall is like plaster. The nigga's in the wall. So he starts sliding down the wall. Why? This is my house. Oh, God. This is my house. And she's kicking him. We hate you. We hate you. And I'm looking at my man cry like a bitch. I want to slap him. So. Hold he, on, ain't gonna mind you telling the story, right? I don't want him to. Nah, man, yeah. this nigga here, because he, he became a rat. He's gonna oh, okay, mess okay. me all I, up. I was gonna make sure. You know what I'm so, you know, he always, he took a walk. He took a walk. She knew he had the gun on him. She called the cops, got him knocked off. So now we really got the house. You know what I'm saying? So when he come home, she had robbed him for everything, and he thought it was me. You know, she told him, I took your money, I took everything, and, you know, we talking about a few hundred dollars. I'm getting real money, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. they, they really got me there because I'm getting money, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, he never liked me because he thought I was his girl. So, um, I'm giving the nigga dope, and um, I don't know he's working with the police, is what I'm trying to say. Now he's trying to set me up. So now this shit becomes like good fellas. I'm with my man. I'm like, yo, the helicopter's following me. And my man says, ha, 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 you just got finished watching Goodfellas, man. You a funny nigga. I say, yo, the shit is right there. It's following me, man. Nah, the shit ain't following you, man. So now we um we go to East Baltimore all the way. This is like Brooklyn compared to Manhattan. The helicopter's there. Yo, the helicopter's following me, man. So my other man, nah, nah, it's just so high. It looks like that. Yo, this thing been following me for two days. I'm telling you, man. Everybody think I'm crazy. Mm-hmm. One day the shit comes so low, I could throw a bottle in it. Like, say, yo, yeah, stop it, man. yo, I say, hey, yo, I lie to you not. This shit came so low, I could have threw something. I said, oh my god, these people are on me. But everybody think I'm crazy. Yeah, I probably think so too. I ain't gonna lie. So, my little man from Baltimore, I keep drilling in his head about not trying to kill me, all that. I was telling him about guns, looking people in the eyes, body language and shit, right? So he tells me, don't buy these guns. Your man don't look right. I said, what do you mean, man? You know, my man's sitting out here, and we in the car. I said, what do you mean? He said, don't buy the guns. Don't buy the guns. I said, we need guns, man. He said, don't buy it. Something ain't right. Your man ain't right. Oh, remember all those things you taught me? I said, yeah. He said, I see it in your man. So I ignored that one time, and I paid for that. So this is God talking to me. And I told my man, nah, I don't want the guns. And he turned flushed red. And, yo, it's that fucking Baltimore nigga. It's that Baltimore nigga. This guy was calling me all night. All night. And I'm like, yo, what, what's wrong with you, man? Why you acting like this? But he had made a deal with the police. 
and it was going bad because I wouldn't buy the guns. Mm. So he calls me six in the morning like, yo, we need more dope. And I'm like, yo, you've been calling me all night. Like, all my alarms is going off. But I don't think it's police. I think he's trying to rob me, get me set up. So, you know, I'm walking and these white people, everybody see it but me. And they just came out of nowhere, man, ambushed my ass. About 50 police, the helicopter, the convoy of vans, and they counting. Three, two, they got guns. They dragging me to the car. They got my man. One, we got them. I'm in the car. They clapping. We got them. Good timing, good timing. And his mother said he came out this alley here. They took the key out of my pocket and tried it in every door. I said, now, is anybody in here before they get hurt? And I said, oh, man. I said, there's a girl in there, man. She probably ain't got no clothes on. They raided the house. And the way I had it, I had it like I had a gun everywhere. A gun in the stove, gun in the refrigerator, gun in the couch. Gun everywhere because the Baltimore niggas, once they find out where you live, you're going to get got. Mm. So this was like a down low house. This, this nigga set me, this dude set me up. He thought I was hitting this girl. So he set me up, man, and then he became a confidential informant. He was trying to give me 50 years. So I had an awesome lawyer again, got me out five and a half, and I was home, getting ready to do it the third time until I did that Akbar interview. And I said, okay, that's it. That's it. Like, I got to stop, man. You know what I'm saying? What was the Akbar interview? Well, I was doing mixtapes, and I was interviewing uh, Akbar, Boy George, or the preacher crew, you know, real gangsters. And, and you know, we, we would talk. And like Boy George said, that, you know, the drug game is over, man. You know, the dude is insanity. The Akbar interview was, like I said, um, sticking your hand on the water. He said that. Mm. The Akbar. And I was like. So, but, but how was these interviews on a, on a, on a CD? What, what, what yeah, it was on CDs. Wow. Yeah, that's how I started. When I came home, I said, yo, how did K. Slate blow up? He had interviewed Alpo. And Funk Master Flex, everybody gave him the job. He blew. So I said, okay, I'm going to do the guys who didn't rap. Can you say interview Alpo? Yeah, and that's how he blew up. That's how he became K. Like, you know what I'm saying? There was the Alpo tape. Mm. The Alpo tape, I man, Funk Flex said, yo, who's this nigga that can get to Alpo? You know what I'm saying? And then I was in jail at that time. But when I came home, I said, okay, let me interview Boy George. I'm going to interview the Preacher Crew niggas. These were the boogeymen's. I'm interview Akbar Prey, but uh, nothing was more interesting than the Alpo Cat man. You know what I'm saying? So they can say what they want, but that dude there, yeah, they love that guy. So, man. so you came, so you came home, and and K Slade is one, I guess, who is responsible for you starting the whole Sub Zero. Yeah, K Slade. Uh, in a way. Yeah, but yeah. what was your name before Sub Zero? DJ Deep Freeze, right? As I was running around with the Deep Freeze. <laughs> yo, see, yo, right? DJ, you all right? Good. Yeah, we got we to show off that body. But, yeah. <laughs> chill, I know you like that. He's doing that for me, Yeah, you know what he's doing. He's trying to get yeah. DJ well, Deep Freeze. Yeah, I was into that, man. DJ, I was DJ. I was a DJ junkie, a rapper. I was all types of shit at one time. But, um... Yeah, I came home and, uh, you know, because K Slade from 152, he grew up with all us. So I'm hanging out with him. He like, yo, let's go to the strip club. And I'm like, man, I don't mess with no strip club. That's for old, dirty men. You know, I really hated the strip club. Like, hell no, I'm not going in there. And I'm hanging out with him. Next thing you know, we in the studio and Juvenile walks in. I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, Webby, little Webby, and one day K Slade pulls up with uh, a girl in the car, and I'm like, "Oh shit, this the girl that's on my cell wall. This the girl that's all over the jail. It was Buffy the body? She's like, don't tell him nothing. He think I ain't nobody. Don't tell him shit. So I'm like, Buffy, like, wow. So I say, okay, we got to start filming some of this shit, man. And um, you know, I convinced him to go half with me on the camera, and that was the start right there. Hmm. Yeah, you know that that that's how that's how the Sub Zero thing started. Where the name came from, though. Um, D I had a uh, deep freeze, right? And I had something called freeze mechanism. That was the uh the entertainment thing, right? <laughs> but 
these 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 devils man hit me with some old you know tax some so it's a whole bunch of bullshit i had to change it so mm. i said yo sub zero i'm going with the sub zero thing it has nothing to do with mortal combat nah <laughs> nah yeah, but uh i went with the sub zero thing and um you know, I told K my dream. I said, yo, you got smack, got it? I want Sub-Zero. He was like, yo, he wanted to be down with the king or some shit. I was like, nah, I wanted to be Sub-Zero. Just how he say smack, I want Sub-Zero. So smack was out. You, smack was out by the time. Smack was out. He was out. And I used to watch smack and be mad. Like, why he didn't ask him this? Damn, why he went light on him? Why, he, you know, something like y'all. You know what I'm saying? How y'all go hard. You're like the new generation of going hard. Like, I would ask if you gay, I'm asking, yo, they say you gay, man. You know, talk to us about it. Or if you got robbed, yo, they said you, Crips robbed you yesterday, man. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that. We don't believe that. You know, and people were shocked by that. Like, yo, he asked them. And um, I said, what else Smack ain't doing? Oh, he don't play with girls. So hanging with K, I started filming some of the strip club stuff. Like, he let me bring the cameras in. And I was like, and then people saw Buffy. Like, Buffy was my first girl I got on the tape. They saw her, and then we did some uh, contests at this club called Club 11. No one ever saw that side on camera. Mm -hmm. And uh, the effects of those DVDs, when, you know, just blew me up. And we was making real money back then. I'm talking about, like, 9000 a week. Like, it was real paper in that shit. Mm -hmm. Real paper in that DVD game, man. And then, it, you know, this bootlegging came out. It just got crazy. So you went you went from the CDs to to the to the camera. Went to the CDs. The young boys didn't know who Boy George was. Mm -hmm. They didn't know who Akbar was. Who was Akbar? I'm, I'm just, I heard the name. Yeah, Akbar. I Pre know Boy George, but who's yeah. Akbar? You... Akbar Prey was the Boy George of Brick City, New Jersey. Like yeah. he was a big guy, Akbar, and they they never called him right. They just got him on some conspiracy and gave him life. You know what I'm saying? They, they they didn't catch him right. He just got life. He all messed up. Guy Fisher, he was the guy who owned Apollo. I know Guy Fisher. Yeah. We know about Guy we Fisher. We interviewed Guy Fisher. You that interviewed was, these people? Yeah, I interviewed all these people over the did. phone. Facts. Where's the audio? I got them. I got them all. Stop mm. playing. Nah, so. if you Google them, somebody probably put my shit on YouTube illegally. So but I, yeah, you I got, yeah, yes. Guy Fisher was like my first interview. He was the first one who cooperated you know, with me on the you know, I asked him everything like, "Why did you? Why you know? Why did you f Nikki's girl?" And he was basically saying, "You know, that was just some excuse. He was gonna tell on me anyway." You know, it was just, you know, I asked him all the real shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, it wasn't until I interviewed Jim Jones that I took off. You know what I'm saying? I was like, "Wow, they onto this dip set." You know, and, and Cam lived across the street. Like, if I'm on the hunt fifth, Cam lived on the hunt seventh. You know, Black Rob is up the blocks. I'm interviewing these guys. I'm bumping in the Dame Dash every day. So I'm running down on them with cameras and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, Cam, say something. And uh, yeah, they was, you know, and then 50 gave me the interview, and then I just never looked back after that. Mm. How long before a Jim Jones interview happened? Like me and Jim Jones, Jim Jones like made me like a fourth member of the dipset, goddammit. Like I was in his office like every other day. Yeah. Like really, man. Catch him on the basketball courts, like everywhere. Me and Freaky Ziki got tight. Me and um, you know, had a Person with Cam, you know, Cam's right, right. over here. Get over here. Like I just had the inside plug. But how long before you got to that to, to that point with Jim Jones? Yeah, how long from when you came home you got to that with Jim? Who put the connect to Jim? I would I would always run the Kingdom. I heard they were gonna be there, mm -hmm. and I ambushed journalism. Like yo, Dame Dash, give me a drop. Y'all don't do drops. Yo, killer. Yo, yo, give me a drop. He just gave you one. <laughs> I would I went through that shit in the beginning. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm like yo yo K. Okay, I got jewels right here, man. Tell him I'm official. I think that was the opening right there. He was like, yo, that's my man. Give him an interview. He official. And then Jewel's like, yo, I just got the word. And, you know, and then, you know, it started building up from there. So who was your first, first celebrity interview? Who was my first interview, man? I'm going to tell you, Boosie and Webby. Lil Boosie and Webby. We didn't know who they was. Mm. Now, I boosted badass little nigga. You know, he talking shit. And Webby talking about white girls in the ass like yo these niggas is crazy man but those were our first right there yeah Boosie and, and Webby and how many of y'all was in the team like how many of y'all oh just it was me and my little man Ra Ra right like Cam didn't like old niggas like he thought we coming to rob him right Cam ain't like that to this day like 
I knew he was on parole, his grandmother. And I knew he lived right here. And we used to always see the Lamborghini. I'm like, I'm going to catch this nigga. I'm going to wait for him. And then I see him get in the car. Yo, you killer. Sub-Zero, I need to drop. Bam, 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 bam. Yo, K, tell this nigga I'm cool. Yo, yo, Jewel's, you know. And he used to always say, yo, my shirt is wrinkled sub. I can't do it right now. This and that. And then uh, one day we almost got into some gangster shit. We almost got into a fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was crazy. And then... I'm crying, yeah. man. Yo. Tell the story. Tell the story. No, hold on. Hold on. So, you know, that's, right. that's, that's the homie. So we could, we could yeah. fact check. Your right. It was, my, it, was a, it was a dude named Za from Wagner. It was a dude named Za. He was official. And Za said, yo, you want to do Cam? And I said, yo, Cam is funny with me, man. I think he think I'm trying to rob him, man. And he was like, nah, Cam is cool. Cam is cool, man. So he told Cam... Yo, the sub nigga want to interview you, but he said you you scared to death. It's like you trying to rob him. It didn't come out right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so one day uh, I caught Cam on like 118 for something. He was doing the um Curtis Curtis video, and um it was like yo killer, what's up? It was like yo get that get that camera out of my face. And I was like who me? He was like yeah you nigga. You said I'm scared of you and this and that. And I was like yo what now? That some other shit came out like we was like nose to nose. He was deep. We was going to get it, but, you know, something in me at that time. And then I just, I guess he realized, yo, this, he ain't, he ain't what you said he was. Because he said, this nigga, clown nigga. So he was like, yo, you can hang out with me for the next two days. And this is when he ain't speak to nobody for like eight years. You know what I'm saying? And so I got like free access to Cam for two days. I'm hung, I hang out with this nigga. Like you see us on McDonald's downtown. I'm interviewing the nigga. Like I'm like we just got super tight. I guess they told him I'm some kind of clown. I don't know what they thought, but it, I heard that it came out that that I looked at him as a sucker. That I'm trying to rob him or something. Something it came out wrong. And Cam was like, no, nah, I didn't say it like that. I said, like, you thought I was coming down on you like I was trying to rob you because I was trying to ambush, you know. I'm like, he going to come out of this building. He got to go to parole. He got to come back. I see the Lamborghini. He keep looking out the window at because the, the, the kids like to play on his car. Mm. So it just got the cam wrong. And when he realized what it was, we all felt awkward. He was like, come on, you can hang out with me, man. Hang out with me next two days, man. And his man, Big Joe, kept me around. And I'm backstage with Cam now. I'm here, I'm over there. It was like two days of, and no one heard from him for like eight years because his mother was sick. Like he mm -hmm. took a long hiatus. I was the first one with the interview. So it was crazy. That that that, that put me on top. Did anybody ever tell you you talk like Alpo? You sound like him? <laughs> no. Is that a Harlem thing or that's just how you talk? Alpo. <laughs> Apple talk like this, yo, baby, yo. Nah, you know. he don't talk like that. Them recently. He don't talk like that. Nah, I don't talk like that. They got the no same way. type of voice. Like, same type of, yo. Wow. Like that, yeah. So, 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 ran down on Killer. So, you and Killer was, so Killer was the first, like, around it. Webby and Boosie. Then it was a dip set. No, uh, Webby and Boosie. Who else, man? Um, I was running around with K. Slate catching anybody who was in his vicinity. Pat Pooks. Pat Pooks was trying to come up. We was always around Mano. Mano was trying to come up. Mm -hmm. And these guys was nobody, you know, Uncle Murder. They was all trying to come up. Um, Tragedy, Gaddafi, all these type of dudes. We was catching them. There was nobodies trying to come up. But they was around K, and I was running around with K with the camera. But that can't be. Tragedy, Gaddafi been somebody since back in the day. Yeah, so yeah, but probably... he was like, I didn't know him. Okay. Like he wasn't a Nas or Court Mega and all that. Like, you know. Okay, but you know he's a hip hop yeah. legend because a lot of people. But I remember him through that old footage. I didn't know who these guys was. I was in jail a lot. I was into drugs. Like I wasn't in the brass K thing. You know what I'm saying? But the dips, the dips just, you know, hanging with Jones, that was my type of atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. He just got a lot of charisma, man, that dude, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and by being on tour with them, what did you see? What's the craziest thing you saw by being around? Damn, I don't want to say too much. <laughs> Why not? Because you know it was it was you know a lot of a lot of crazy shit went down, but the craziest shit I see was uh, uh Jones said get the nigga with the red hat, and Zeke hit the punch the nigga with the wrong hat. <laughs> you know, it was like three niggas with red hats. So Zeke stuffed the nigga with the red hat. It was the wrong dude. <laughs> they could start battling. I'm like, oh shit! See, I'm trying to catch it on film. 
And me and the nigga Loon used to hang out a lot too, man. Well, what Loon. did the nigga in the red hat do to Jim? Oh, I, I I don't know, man. I don't know exactly, right? But I know it was like the nigga in the red hat. And uh, Zeke was like, I got him. And it was like three red hats there. <laughs> so so he got the wrong hat. You know I'm about to ask you a hard question. So, What's that? So, you know, let, let's get straight into it because, you know, if, you, if, you, if I let you talk too long, you know, you get me into your story. <laughs> I want to know from your perspective because I never heard you talk about it. You and Fendi yeah. had a fight in Harlem. Yes. I think you hit him. Right. And then he it looked like in the footage you got the best of you. I want you to walk us through what happened. Why did that happen? Okay. Because you say you keep it real. So I keep it all the way gravy. Right? Honest real. truth. Honest truth. Okay. This okay. real nigga shit. That's the fake dude right there. Okay. Oh. That's the fake dude right there. Come on, son. Nah, I don't do that, son. Why you call him fake, son? I'm going to tell you why. I got to hear this first. Mm. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> Talking like that. Okay, first of all, what happened? Uh, Jay the Kiss. It all started with Jay the Kiss. I did two or three interviews with Jay the Kiss. I brought him some Spanish girls to his video shoot. Me and Jay the Kiss was all right. So one day, uh, it's a Jay the Kiss Corey Guns video shoot. And um, I stood there for about two hours. I'm filming everything. I got all the girls acting stupid. I brought girls. So Corey Guns did his drop and all this shit. So I'm like, hey, Jada, I need a drop. Tell him, yo, Jada, chill out with Sub-Zero so I can get out of here. He mumbled something unintelligible. I said, what did he just say, man? I said, all right, let me wait. I said, hey, come, come here, cutie, turn around. Twerk, you know, I'm messing with the girls. After about a half hour, Jada coming past me again. I'm like, Jada, I got to get out of here. Just give me a drop. You chilling with Sub-Zero? Let me get out of here. Say something unintelligible. I don't know what he's saying. It's like it's so loud in there. I said, what the? So now I see him getting into this car. So I knock on the window. Yo, Jada, I need to drop. Give me a me. You ain't playing out here. Yeah, we, you know, me and Jada got a good report. I done did about three, four interviews with him already. Mm -hmm. Bring girls to his shit. So, as he rolled out the window, the Fendi nigga comes and say, "Yo, he he on the come up. He ain't gonna give you a drop. Why should he give you a drop? Why should he help you?" Me and Fendi just took a picture together in the store yesterday, in Queens. So I'm thinking, we all right. We just took a nice picture and all that. We laughed and giggled. So I said, yo, oh, so that's what's happening? I said, yo, all he had to do was say he didn't want to do the drop. I would have left 45 minutes ago. Like, I'm just sitting here waiting for him to give me this drop. You know, it's always good to end behind the scenes of the video shoot with the artist. Chilling with Sub-Zero. So now, um, so Fendi takes that opportunity to say, um, <clears throat> Sub, I heard you been asking how my DVDs is moving. I said, yeah, because you competition, man. DVD slowing down for me, man. I want to know how your joints is going. You ain't competition. He said, you running around with a camera. I'm really on the block. I said, well, nigga, this is what I do. Come here, girls. you are twerk. So the girls is twerking, and he's saying something slick, and I started to punch him in his mouth right there. But I look, and this doggy diamonds clown nigga got a camera. So I'm like, oh, this nigga's trying to front for this camera. Oh, whoa, so, hold on. What nah, makes Doggy Diamonds a clown? Come on, I'm man. I'm going to tell you what makes him a clown. I say, yo, Doggy Diamonds, don't don't edit that shit like you vibe, like you like this nigga's trying to scream on me, my nigga. Nah, nah, I'm going to edit it out. I say, okay, cool. I say, yo, 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 Finney, you know what I do. I play with the bitches, my nigga. That, him not giving me a drop don't stop nothing. I say, yo, make sure you put that on the DVD. They didn't put none of that on the DVD, of course. So now, it's this white boy that um, edits everybody DVDs because a lot of people ain't got editing skills. He gives uh, somebody I know a call, say, yo, they want me to edit this DVD like Fendi is screaming on Sub-Zero. So I said, yo, he didn't say nothing but that he run around with a, um, that I run around with a camera and he really in the streets. I said, I don't remember him screaming on me, man. He ain't screaming on me. They said, now nah, they want me to add it like music, make it look like it's a beef. So I said, yo, word. I said, okay, bet. I'm going to see Fendi. So we had Blackstar. Here come Fendi with a box on his shoulder. I said, yo, Fendi, let me holler at you, man. He said, yo, what's up? What's up? What's good, sup? I said, yo, you dissing me on this DVD? Nah, I ain't dissing you. Why don't you buy a copy? I said, look, I'm asking you as a man, my nigga. 
are you dissing me on this DVD? He said, yo, yo, sir, if you want a problem with me, I said, yo, listen, man, if you dissing me on this DVD, wherever I see you, it's on site. It's on site. It could be on site now. Pop, black star, jump over the table. Everybody separating us. I said, nigga, I see you. So we went outside, and we getting ready to shake. The nigga reaches for a weapon. I said, yo, we, you reaching for a knife? I said, okay, bet. When I see this nigga, we're going to go knife to knife then. This is what I'm saying. He got it. He don't want to fight. He, he keep going like he going to cut me or something. I said, this is big. He's a, he's a big sucker. So he gets a ticket on his car. We leave. So Black Star Pop calls me and says, yo, the DVD came out. Freeze. Don't pay that shit no mind. You know what this nigga says? I said, what he says? That you run around with a camera and he really in the street selling crack. I said, yeah. He said, that's, I said, what else? He said, that's it. I said, oh, man. Come on, man. I'm not trying to. Anybody know me, I've been out of town, man. I've been selling crack all my life. I ain't trying to get no credit for that. That's no real nigga wanting to be, I sold crack. I told y'all that. You know, it was good old nostalgic feeling. But I said, okay, I'll take that. I'm a schoolboy that run around with a camera. I ain't never went to school for no camera. So we go into, I go, so now the, the Africans owe money. Like, we used to all go around Fendi, all the DVD niggas, and pick up 300 here, 200 there, 200... So the best thing to do is get up early in the morning and catch them to get the money before Fendi gets it or anybody else gets it. You know, you owe me $300, give me that. It's like 10, 15 in the morning, and I'm going to do this rap video because I'm rapping now, and I got two girls that are gay, bisexual, and I got another girl that's just a freak, and I know it's going to turn into an orgy or some shit, right? I'm like, yo, I'm going to have the time of my life. And um, I go in the store. And niggas are saying, yo, yo, Fendi just left. He's coming back. I said, yeah, yo, f*** him. You know this? I guess he was talking shit about me or something. I said, yo, where my money at, man? I said, yo, 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 um, you got to wait an hour or something. I said, yo, I need my $300, man. I got shit to do today. So he said, just come back in a half hour or something. So I left. When I came back, people was holding me back. Yo, no, sub. No, no, chill out. What's happening? They holding Finney back. Man, let that nigga go, man. What's happening? I seen that shit you did, man. He says, you seen it? You seen it? But I want to stress, people was holding me back like we was going to fight. They was holding him back. Man, let that nigga go. We good. So he said, you seen it? I said, yeah, man. Oh, uh, You said that you sell crack. You really in the street. And I'm a school nigga that running around with a camera. You cool with that? Yeah, I'm cool with that. You ain't said nothing, my nigga. I gave him a five. Gave him a pound. He gave me... So now, I don't know. It's a camera on. I guess he gave the nigga. Put the camera on now. He gonna chump me. I don't know the camera's on. I never looked. I never knew it was a camera on. So I hear him whisper, what you said when you see me, it's on sight. It looked like somebody poured gasoline on my ass. I said, yo, yo, my man, you still talking? Didn't I just tell you? This is what I do. And then he looked... He gave. He looked away like, how did that sound? Did it sound right? I don't know this camera. And I tried to knock his wig off. I, I snuff him. And I said, now come outside. Because now I'm like, I'm going to demonstrate on this nigga. But to my surprise, this nigga football charged my ass. This nigga like 300 pounds. At the time, if you look how skinny I am, I'm on vegetarian shit. I'm fucking these girls every day. I'm not taking, I'm not, if I hit him now, he's going to go. You know what I'm saying? Back then, I was like half my size and shit. Anyway, I said, step outside. The nigga bum rushed me. He grabs me. And he just rah, pushed me into a fucking counter. And when I hit the counter, it shatters. And I'm sitting in it like this. On my way out, the nigga just come, boom, hit me in the eye. And it's over that fast. Somebody dive on him, it's over. You know, it's over that fast. So I punch him in the mouth. Mm-hmm. And the way he grabbing me, it looked like he hit me, but he don't hit me. He's not hit me at all. But he, he, he throws me into a counter, so, hit me one time. So let me say something. When I heard, when I hear that you're a schoolboy, he's selling crack, I'm thinking about not actual crack. I'm thinking about the DVD that he's selling is moving like crack. That's no, how no, no, we no, took no, no, I don't no. think he's talking about actual crack on, because I don't think Fendi was in the street at that time really no, selling he drugs. said he's a street nigga. He said he's a street nigga. He's selling, he got crack on the block for real. Sub so was a schoolboy. 
but, but, but I, when you say crack, you think he's talking about actual cruelty? He's talking about the, oh, he definitely. He got to be talking about the DVD because you you asked, you inquired about the come up because the come up was coming up. They had Nikki at the time, right? I, the time you talk about when this yeah, when it came when, up. When you Google it, it's no, it's no, it's no doubt that he's talking about he's a street nigga in the street. You sure saw man. positive? You sure you? I'm saying I think so. I think you. I think you. I think you. You think an old nigga, not as in a, a double entendre. But let me add this. I song. have crack in the street. You were school. I have crack. Let, let me, I let me, think he's let, talking about the DVD. Let me add this. Because the come up wasn't doing good because you inquired about the price, like how much, because you said it yourself. Like they were doing, the come up was doing, the come up was, was it surpassing no. you at the time? No, no. The DVD game was falling. Okay. And I wanted to know if he was moving DVDs. I asked, how the come up moving? You know, I asked the Africans, ah, it's moving all right. Or, you know, I want to know where I stand at. So, you know, word got back to him. Your sub asking, you know, how to. So he took it as, he said, yo, like, you run around with a camera, nigga. I'm a real street nigga. Mm. And the way he said it, I should have hit him then. But I was like, damn, nah, this, maybe this nigga's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And um, make a long story short, this tough guy here, he had an ice pick the whole time. I punched him in his face. Nobody got stabbed or none of that. You got an ice pick, nigga. You supposed to be a street nigga, you hood. Why nobody got poked? I gotta get at you. Hold. No, 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 no. Check this out. Yo, come on, sub. You what? wildin', bro. Really, bro? Really. So now, come on, do that. That's ego talking. So you should have got poked now. If if somebody punched me in my face and I got an ice pick, I'm tearing your ass up. Sub, sub. I'm gonna tear your ass up. You sub, punch you me in the face and I got an ice pick. You crazy? You I mean serious, that sub? shit. I'm dead serious. So 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 now you question his. Gangster. Gangster. He's a hood he, nigga. He's a street he, nigga. Man, stop, stop it, son. Come on. Now, let me, let me, let me go here. Look good. Don't do that. Let me go this way. You let your ego talk. Let me go here. So now, we, you know, nigga saying, yo, sub, let that go. Y'all had a fight. It didn't go crazy, this and that. Do you know this monkey tried to put me back on the DVD, man? This guy tried to put me back on the DVD, man. So now, I'm talking to real gangsters. Rest in peace, Chaz. He said, you got to take a bat and you got to bust his fucking head open. You got to, this man has no respect for you. That's what he told me, Chaz. I said, wow, man, this nigga got me back on the DVD and tried to edit it where, because what happened was Chinks Drugs called me into a store to interview him. Chinks begged me. I said, Chinks, I got enough footage of you. Nah, you got you to gotta come here. I go to the store and there's Fendi there. Mm. So the Spanish dudes took his side. Sub, not in my store, not in my store. And Fendi's doing this. He's playing like, nah, let him go. Let, let, let's go. Let's go. And so he edited that little footage and tried to make that into something. Right? I said, I'm a, man, what y'all see this nigga? So I, I bump into Smack, dude. I said, yo, Smack. Fendi 300 pounds. I'm about buck 50 soaking wet at the time. I said, yo, let me and this dude square up MMA style at the end of the battle or something. So we tried to get Fendi to do it. Fendi said he don't do that. He do funerals. He kill people now. This guy... Now, this guy is a known rat. Now, I heard you say, yo, you got to have paperwork. It's it's all over Brooklyn. Where there's smoke, there's fire. He's a rat. Now, my man, now check this out. Come on, don't do that, son. Come on. Check son. this out. You don't, you, you, come on, check son. this out. He, where the paperwork at, son? Don't do that, let son. Me, let, me, let, me, let me go like this. The nigga got stepped to in the yard in uh, North Carolina by Chaz and them people. Man, I'm throwing, this is real gangster. I'm throwing real names out. They say, yo, you ratted on nigga. He got caught hand to hand in or something. And he ratted on the dude. Now check this out. Now I was gonna let the footage out. He had wrote a letter to the judge on the bank robbery case. Got a dude jammed up for 20 something years. Now he says it himself on my on, on tape. And I was ready for him to violate, because I'm gonna put that out there. He said, yo, I wrote a letter to the judge to help a nigga, but the nigga tried to tell on me. Dude got 20 years out of that. If Lil C's can get in trouble for saying a dude had a green shirt and got Kim jammed up, Fendi Wright and the judge should be in trouble. That's all I'm saying. He wrote a letter to the judge and got a dude jammed up. Is this hearsay? He said it out of his mouth. Where? Let me see it. I will send that footage to you when this thing is over. Mm. I will send that footage. He asked him. He'll say it. He'll tell you. He said, I, he said, I, I said, yo, Fendi's a rat. He said, yo, sub trying to say I'm a rat because I wrote a letter to the judge. To all uh, to free a nigga. Where did he say that at? on somebody's DVD? I got it. Yeah, he said it on on, on it's on, it's online. I snatched it offline. Cause we was looking for his name, Eric Moore. We was trying to find this nigga's name so we get this paperwork to expose this rat. But there's no but, paperwork. He's not a rat. But, but he listen. What I'm saying. That. No, no. no, no. Sub, sub, this stop. is what I'm gonna say. This is what I'm gonna say. Right, 
Lil C's got in trouble, right? Yo, fam. Yo. Yo, Lil C's got in trouble for saying somebody had a shirt. Lil C's got in trouble. Why can't he get in trouble for writing a letter to the judge? I'm pressing that. I'm pressing that sub-zero button, boy. He's wild. He's wild. Don't touch that. He's yo, wild, bro. yo, yo, fam. You got his, you got his, you got his real name. You didn't find no paperwork. Come yo, on, fam. Son. Let me say something. Lil C's got in trouble because he said it was a red, a shirt or something, mm. and Lil Kim said he was a rat because that got a nigga indicted. Fendi wrote a letter to the judge and got a nigga twenty years. Why, no, why he, he ain't a rat? So you trying to say he said it that I wrote a letter to a judge? I can't. He see said him it. That. I wrote a letter to a judge and got somebody twenty years. No, he said I wrote a letter to the judge trying to free a nigga, and the nigga tried to tell on me. He said, sub trying to say I'm a rat because I wrote a letter to a judge trying to help a nigga, but the nigga tried to tell on me. It started sounding like he tell on me, so I did this and this. The dude got jammed up behind that shit. What's up? Yo, so I, yo, so I, I, I put it out there. Just play lie. that, and the so streets know lie. what's I'm, going I'm, on. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with you, sub, but that sound far-fetched. Yeah, I, mad, I put the footage You mad out. about, just say your flip, you know what? Now I'm muscular and I want, I want a rematch. Oh, say no, that. No, say no, that, no, no, sub. No, no. Both say, because you know, when you watch the footage, I mean, you ain't... You know, you caught him. You hit him first. I watch it. I got it right here playing. You hit him first. Okay. I see it only in face. It bothered you, man, but you hit him first, bro. You popped on him. No, no, no. Let's check it out. All right, that's good. Look, look, G. But the streets say... Fendi right here. You gonna see? You hit him first, bro. Say, yo, flip, I hit him first. He got, it happens. It's a fight. But you like... Now nah, he a rat and... Yo, the nigga's a rat, yo. It's, it's, it, it, it's The whole Brooklyn is lit up with that shit, man. The whole Brooklyn yeah. is lit up with that shit, man. I hit him, I hit him, I hit him. <laughs> and you travel, you say, let's go. But, uh, oh. yeah, none of them hits. He, crazy, though. Yeah, he, none of them shits hit. The nigga tried to grab my hand, and he's swinging, but none of them shits hit me. I understand, yeah. but, but and no, this is all due respect, because I think that, um, we, you know, you, you a legend in, in what you do, man. We'll give you the credit, but with all due respect, and, and I'm saying this respectfully, to put something out there and say, like, Somebody told right without the paperwork, you know, as a credible because you even said you had his real name, you there's no paperwork, right. so we don't have the paper that was sent to the judge. So, wouldn't it be hearsay, or did somebody confirm? Did you at least speak to the okay. guy that got with the jail because of him? This is what I want to say I call him a rat. He said, You calling me a rat because I wrote a letter to the judge, but it's a fact that this guy got jammed up from this letter that Fendi wrote. You know what I'm saying? That's a That's fact. I, I never heard of that though. It, it's out Yo, there. Yo, Basco, come through. There's it's out there. there. I never heard of that. It's out there. You know what I'm saying? And you're not saying that because you mad. No, nah, I'm saying that because he said that because what happened was Nori called him up there. Mm. And Nori says, you... you, oh, yo, I see that. I saw that clip. I, you got famous because you snuffed Sub-Zero. And I said, oh, shit. I snuffed him. What the fuck are you talking about? He snuffed Sub-Zero. So I said, yo, so now I put the footage out and because Fendi could have checked that. Now, the little nigga snuffed me, and this is what happened. He could have checked that, but he tried to bask in the glory. So that pissed me off. I'm like, homeboy, I asked you, you a DVD nigga, let's square up for the world. You said no, so we got to get into some gangster shit because you was a sucker. You want to run around with Fab and Jada. He won't let you catch him by himself. He tried to utilize other men's teams. So if I run down on him now, Fab team got to move on me. He's going to get that rapper in some trouble because it's not going to go. He's not going to just going to beat me up. It's not going to go down like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying this is how he move. He move and try to use other men. I say, let's square it off. Old school style, man. Me and you. He won't do it. He do funerals. So now you leave it to us to get into some dumb shit. Me and you got to be flipped. Mm -hmm. I called you a rat or something. Man, let's square up. Let's square up. Put your cameras on and let's get busy. I kill niggas. I do funerals. What, the, what kind of shit is that? And then the nigga says on DVD, sub caught me by myself. And I'm never by myself. Real men don't say that. I'm always by myself. I came here with a girl. Ain't no security, none of that shit. If you a real man, you, what you mean you always by, you, you never by yourself? He trying to get strength off other men's teams. Like me and him had a beef and then he showed up at k Slay party with Jada. So I guess if I moved on him, then Jada's entourage would have to move on me because he came with Jada. This is how this guy does it. But that's the streets, though, sub. You've been around the streets. That's coward shit. That's hyena shit. I don't respect it. You know what I'm saying? But you don't know him. You don't know him personally for him to give you a fair one-on-one, -on -one, to be honest. You're not. You guys didn't go back together. You still snuck them first. No, no. What I'm trying to say he is. popped on the direction. Did you see it? 
I think okay. some forget that you popped on him. Did you forget you popped on him? No, nah, I popped on him because he was talking slick and he had a camera right there. I never, if I if, if I knew a camera was there, I'd have five pieced his ass. It would have been more than that because now I got to show off for this camera. I didn't know he had a camera on me. What I did was manly. You understand what I'm saying? You popped the hot way. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Wow, wait. y'all gonna see that? I'm in another world. Stop, no, Yo, no, no, chase no, out. No, wait, wait, no, 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 hold on. I'm not coming. No, what, no, and explain to me. Like, with all due okay. respect, what makes it manly? You, you popped it. You okay. see them? No, 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 me and you, I shook your hand, yo, the beef is dead, okay, that's, that's manly, I turned my back, get the cameras ready, it's coward shit, tell me the camera's on, so now I say, give me this, cause you said, when you see me, it's on sight, what the f*** this nigga want, problems, yo, why you still talking shit, that's what I do, what I'ma say, so now we got like two bitches, hold that nigga, bow, now, let's step outside and what happened, happened. But had I known the camera was there, I think I would have went crazy on this nigga because now the camera there, this, this, so he he had to move like he did. He had to go crazy because he got punched in his mouth on his camera. Mm. And then the nigga calling me every night, get your popcorn ready, nigga. And then he had me thinking I really got knocked out. He's like, yo, get the popcorn ready. He, he called Nicki Minaj. He had everybody. He called K-Slay. But that was really telling. You know what I'm saying? Because... I wanted to line your ass up, but you done told everybody, yo, yo, K, me and your man had a fight. I knocked him out. So I said, K, this nigga said he knocked him. Said, yo, sub, the, the, the footage coming out. You was asleep. They said you was asleep. I would got knocked out. What I'm trying to say is if me and you got a beef, let's square up, man. Why we got to go through all this shit? Why we got to see each other and get crazy, man? That's all I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Fendi though, man. So would you have ever squashed it and spoke to him, or you feel like, like it it was, was dead? It, and I'm, no, let me ask you a question because you're a guy that's in a DVD world, right? right? And, and, and you're a guy that that became a figure in the entertainment world. Do you right. think that he tried to destroy your credibility yes. by yes. doing that? It, does that bother you? It, it, no, it backfired because he got punched in his mouth. He never expected that. I was supposed to be a sucker that got screamed on and went away, but the punch in the face. But then, okay, you violated. You see, I'm not a sucker. What happened, happened. To put me back on the DVD was violation. And then have Nori co-sign this nigga. Talk about you when you snuff Sub-Zero. What nigga ain't snuff Sub? So Nori, you with that shit? I thought me and Nori was all right. So Nori sends me an apology. I'm like, nah, let's... Why don't you get on your show? Because that show is still out there. And people thinking he snuffed Sub. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you assassinated my character, Nori. So I had a problem with all those funny looking for real, for real. Wait, 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 you had a problem with Nori, because Nori, but no, it's Nori. Snuff not, Sub-Zero? But is Nori not supposed to ask that question? I asked you that question. That's like Fendi okay. having a problem with me. I asked you that question. And I heard you, I heard you say, I watched a couple of your shows, and I, I heard you re, re, reset, re-straighten things. You know what I'm saying? Nori didn't go on his show and say, yo, my bad, man. Uh, snuff, sub Snuff Fendi, and this will happen. I see you, you tried to assassinate my character in history. But why would why would if you and Nori was good, why would Nori do that? What would be what would he get out he, of doing he, that? Because he he riding Fab Fab Dick ride Fab. Oh stop it! Yeah. Fab no, no Fab Fab and Jada that's, was there, and they were and Fendi was supposed to be their manager right there. So that's a so, pride thing. So come on, man. You think so? You think, wow. You think, no, Let's no. see what the viewers say. Why why Nori why, why would Nori, Nori try to take? Why would you? I don't understand Nori? that. That's what I'm saying. So if you don't understand it, I don't understand it. Maybe it's not that. I said, Nori, can you go on the show and straighten that out? He said he sent me he sent me an apology already, privately. He apologized. Okay, so why you ain't put that out? The show. Well, he's saying he's he's saying like you own MTV because and I'm Nori just said a, it on the show. He's like, you should go back on the show and okay, so oh, and back in. oh, I see. Okay, so Nori sent you an apology. Right. What did his apology say? Do you remember? It said, "Yo, my bad, my bad. You, something about you hit fifty. I got it wrong." But I need you to say this on your show, on show because yeah. your show is still out there. But maybe he went into the right time to say it, though. Nah, hell no. He's done with that. He done with that. He's not going to diss uh, his man, Fendi. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow, that look at this shit. That wouldn't be dissing it. The footage is here. You punched Fendi in the face first. Isn't it? Yeah, Fendi, but, but... Fendi would say that. But, like, but those, a lot of me. people don't know, didn't see that. And all they know is Fendi came up because Norby said, you snuffed Sub-Zero. And Jaden like Jaden like what you snuffing niggas? They hyped that up. He never corrected that. Wow, it, 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 so, that's now check out. YouTube, let me ask bro. you something. Yo, you yo, still got a hundred thousand views. Listen, yo, yo, real dudes. 
Don't don't try to throw us. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. I had I had I had real gangsters tell me, yo, real dudes. They say, yo, they real dudes. Now chase out. If a nigga say, yo, sub, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna correct it, man. Like I like I told y'all, man, like I'm not gonna lie. Nigga push me into something, hit me in the eye. I'm not gonna say he didn't hit me. Or mm. I'm gonna correct it. Now, yo, the nigga got strong, nigga threw me into a thing, hit my eye. I was up. Like, I'm not gonna try to color that and lie. I'm gonna tell you the real deal, man. Mm. Like this dude went and told everybody he knocked me out. I was out sleep. Like this dude went crazy. This dude all the way fraud, man. But why, but why you mad? Okay, wait, hold on. He said, "Why I'm mad?" No, 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 no. no you're not mad. Right. Let me say this. I'm not, and this is no way because I'm a person that I I look at things from all uh, right. all spectrums, and this is no way trying to disrespect you or play you. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, I'm not one of those. I for you to say something is on YouTube. It's at the right. top right here. Right. Forbes DVD got it. 102 views seven years ago. Right. So for you to feel like if Nori said that and people went to go research it, they would see that video. There's no other video with a cut unless I didn't see it. Because yeah, the video I see okay. is at the top. And then I see you training. I don't see anything. But hold on. Unless it's hip. I, I don't see anything else. Okay. Nori, Nori got a big platform. that drew Okay. Chance. True. Just like this, right? True. And a lot of people, like they say, oh, oh that's the dude that Fendi snuffed. They're not going to do their research, and it's, it's like a tarnish my character. That's why they got people who expunge your all, uh, you know, bad stuff online because it hurts you in the future. It really I hurts see, you. I, I see what you're saying. And so, you I know. I see what you're saying. To, but, to, but, but, but why you was mad? I'm sorry to cut you off. Why were you mad at Doggy Diamonds? Because Doggy Diamonds is just putting, doing what he's supposed to do because, by putting the footage out. Because a real when the real man says he's not going to do something. He like told I, you out his mouth. He I told me not. out his mouth that. And, and me and that nigga, me, yeah. He told me out of his mouth. I, I see him. I'll bump into him one day. He, I'll bump into him one day. <laughs> I'll bump into him one day. Son? No, you don't know. This nigga called me. I knock on doors, nigga. I knock on this doggy diamonds. I will beat your ass, boy. What the wait, f- wait. wrong with doggy diamonds? Doggy this nigga diamonds said doing... he knock on doors. You better hear. You ain't heard about me, nigga. Yo, he was talking smack. Sub. It's seven years ago. This man, Doggy Diamonds, is doing his thing. At the... Shout out to Doggy Diamonds. I always say he's one of the best interviewers out. But you well, he tried to assassinate you... my character that day. Mm. That was crazy. Sub, you walked out, bro. <laughs> and then he talking about, yo, I knock on doors. Yo, I, I, yo, this nigga was talking mad shit. I said, no, check this out. Now, hear me. I said, Doggy Diamonds, the boy didn't knock me out. I said, y'all would have footage of that. I said, now, what if I say you're a homo, put a Put a, put a, a, a cock in your mouth and make it go uh uh-uh, uh and make girl sounds and then say you're a f- no check this out because no let me tell hey home, check this out no listen to this listen to this he had my face Batman sounds all types of stuff sub got knocked out I said yo that's false advertising why would you say that I said now how about I put a dick in your mouth and say you're a homo he saw it my way it was like yo this nigga got a point man they took it down I said the nigga didn't knock me out. Nigga, he hit me in the eye. That's a fact. So I said, yo, let's do this right. Somebody jumped on you. If they broke us up, you know, and then the, the dude that broke it up, I said, yo, let us go. Let, let us let's get that. He says, nigga, you want, you want the other eye? So he said something slick to me. I knew I was on unfriendly ground. I said, wow, I got two niggas to battle now. I said, I'll be back. I said, look at this shit here. So then Fendi, I said, yo, Fendi, let's do one-on-one. Real man. So, so what we got to do now? We got to bump into each other. And now you're going to put Fab or whoever entourage that you riding with at Jeopardy because me and you can't do shit like men, man. I'm just saying. But let me ask you a question. I tried to leave it alone. You put me back on the DVD. What did he put you back on the DVD doing? What do you mean he put me back on the DVD? Um, He was all trying to get at me. And the Puerto Ricans was holding him back, but he wasn't trying to get at nobody. He about to die that day. He he the people in there know he about to die. But God was on his side that day. But it looked like he tried to edit it, and people was calling me, yo, this nigga got you back on the DVD. It looked like he trying to get at you and people holding him back. You just looking at him. And I said, This this dude put me Where back was this on the DVD. Was it in the same footage? This was in Vic's music hut. Oh. Uh, this is different footage. This is something totally different. He tried to put me back on DVD. I said, when I catch this nigga... So wait, wait said, hold on. Y'all was in the same facility again? Again. And the, uh, these Spanish dudes took his side. It was like, yo, who invited you, sub? And I was like, Chinks invited me. The dude Vic invited him. So it looked like I was trespassing because this is Vic Storm. Vic invited Fendi, but 
Chinks invited me. So, so you know. Bino, so Bino told me you were yeah, Bino told me but, So 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 now I said, yo, you know what? I'ma leave. You know what I'm saying? Cause it got funky and, and the nigga he, he they holding them back and all that shit. I said, oh my God, man. The cop was outside. It was it was, it was a lot of dumb shit. I said, all this because this dude is crazy, man. I, I'm I'm from the I'm from the school, man. Me and you got a beef, man. Mm -hmm. I now I gotta catch you Queens flip in, 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 with, with with 50 cent or somebody so their entourage can fight for you, man. Come on, man. That that's crazy. He know what he's doing. I roll on him, then, then then it look like I'm attacking Jada or some shit like I that. Like, shit, but why you can't just let it go? So sub. I let it go. A nigga put me back on DVD, try to assassinate you my shot, character. You say he shook his hand. He said we good. No, but he shook his hand before he did the fight. Yeah. Ask the nigga why 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 he, why he put me back on DVD. It was to say, that what it was. It was like I ain't got no respect for you. But sub, how many years ago was this sub? It, it, it's how many years because we ain't running to each other yet. What's up? Wait. We ain't running to each other oh, yet. Come on, man. How many years ago this was? Please answer my question. I, I don't, I don't, it seemed like it happened yesterday to me. Mm. It seemed like it happened just, yesterday. Let it go, son. I tried to let it go and nigga put me back on DVD is what I'm trying to tell you. The nigga ain't got the proper respect for me. And when y'all, If y'all ever get him up here, he'll tell you. He ain't got no respect for me. That type of dude, you got you to gotta bust his fucking head open, man. And you'll still try to fight him if you see him instead of having a conversation like, yo, you know what? Man, man, yo, man, that dude, I ain't gonna criminate myself up here, man. <laughs> that dude up there, boy. What's up? Come on, bro. What's up? Let go, man. I know it's easy for you to say. Nah, you're right. I, that I, doggy I, diamonds, nigga. All, all them niggas. There's a lot of things I can't let go. That's what I'm saying. I understand, but I'm, I'm trying to. I, he, he, yeah, he, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he, he, said, me, he, said like, he knocked on doors. This nigga was talking big shit. Cold? But go ahead. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> We gotta show the girl right here. Okay. You said that. They, to me they got. They something. got me. Uh, 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 they got me caught up in this trance. I, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I got a scarf and then we give a scarf or something. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know how I, I can help you out. I don't know how. You know, she don't take. You know, her, you know, she don't take other niggas' items. No, I just don't want to. What is the scarf gonna do for me? Oh. Okay. Because he says the scarf. So. Which one you do? The, I mean, I'm no, gonna, it's okay. We turn the AC down. We turn the AC off. Yes. Okay. Right. Yo, Basco, can you turn the AC off in here, please? Just come in here. Thank you. Gotcha, the nigga showed a jury what Tony Trump had two thousand dollar pants on. I just want to show her shape off real fast. Sure, she can sure. get, yeah, turn around. Let them see. Let the camera. That's the camera right there. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, can y'all give me a second? Don't look right at me. Oh no, the camera's the on. Camera's Twenty four. Okay, just turn around. You know, let them see that. What? See the shape. It flowers out yeah, and all oh, that. You ready? Wait, wait, let's see. Oh yeah, let's see. Okay. Bounce a little bit for the uh, camera. You know, the, the, the this one. This is the camera right here, girl. Bounce the front from him a little bit too, man. See that? <laughs> that's 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 Mimi Suno, y'all. Shout out to Mimi Suno. But wait, let me just say this one last thing. Yeah. And I like you. I say that's that. I think up. that you came here I, the way you talk. I think you. He's I, like a he's like a real New Yorker. I, but but <laughs> but the fact is that what I'm understanding that you're never too old because I don't let things go. But you're never too old. We all got egos and pride. It's Cause not, you see, it's, you see, cause look, 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 and I see what you see when you be like, yo, flip, come on, I mean, and I and I'm doing the same thing you may tell me, and I'm like, okay, cause I'm like, what, seven something years ago, but he feel away. I guess you feel like they're trying to say, I didn't know Doggy Diamonds and them, you know, I feel like everybody. Yeah, he part of that doing. shit. He was filming that. He the one started it, that Doggy Diamonds nigga. But anyway, this is what I'm saying. Oh. Finney say he's a street nigga, right? He keeps stressing that I supposed to be some schoolboy. Let's square up, homeboy. Let's let's see what you really do, man. You 300 pounds. I'm half your shit. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Why we got to wait till we bump into each other in the street where you try to cut me or use somebody else? That's that's a coward, man. I can't respect that. Mm. I ain't from that. I ain't from that era, man. You say you want to scrap. Let's scrap. Whatever's going to happen. When me and him scrap, I had the eye jamming. I'm outside shooting videos. I shot a video that day. I got shades on, me and four girls. We actually came up off that fight. We Man, we did... Ain't no hiding. We, we all men all the way around the board, man. That shit he doing is cowardice. Running with the team and hope you catch me there while you with Jada and That's them entourage. That's how he's thinking. He's doing That's how he's thinking, man. And then he just attacked some, some nigga, beat some nigga up and got that on film, right? So it looked like Fendi's crushing niggas. That nigga soft, man. Wait, what, what, who he beat up on film? He beat up somebody on film, beat up some nigga in the club, and they filmed that, and he tried to run around with... Like 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 he destroying niggas. Like he just doing business. Man, stop it, man. Inside, oh, he, oh, he like Fendi. Like <laughs> that's a Fendi fan, yo. Nah, 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 
don't he do did that. it. He did it. You don't like Philly, that. man. I, you I, like that dude, that. man. That I, dude I, ain't. I look at things from an objective standpoint, bro. That dude ain't right. The dude ain't right. I haven't had that bad encounter with him. And all my encounters with Finney has been respectful and good. But mm -hmm. I can't tell you how to feel. But I'm seeing, like, you come in here, you smiling. And, but that's still, like, you You won't go, Tom. Even talk about Doggy Dummins. Mm -hmm. You won't go, Tom, still. Them niggas try to assassinate. They try to play with the wrong man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that, that shit. They, they try to come up off trying to tear a dude down and then hide like cowards where you can't catch them and all that. I, that, that shit hurts me more. Mm. I want to rip those dudes apart. Cowards. All right, they going to see this. They cowards, right, so, man. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. they cowards. That's yeah, how yeah, I yeah. feel. Yeah. You, never, you never saw Doggy Dollars. I never saw after. him again. I would go right yeah, at his him. Face, like, yeah, face. I mean that. Yeah. I'll go right at him. And people going to be mad at me. Like, yo, Flip, come on. You got to respect that. I he know that. We're going we gonna to see how gangster he is when, when we see him. We, we go at him. I lose. I lose. Let's see how gangster you is, homeboy. He think he that he that he he put he knocked one niggas doors. Oh, he was talking shit. I said, okay, boy, I ain't got nothing else to say. I will see you. And the Fendi nigga, yeah, I don't like that. Them niggas try to, them niggas try to try to ruin my career. They thought I was gonna go away. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, it's real men shit. Like, I had to battle in jails. I was always in out of town jails. I was always the New Yorker out of town. I to, look, these niggas rule. They rule like them hyenas, man. I don't respect that. Real lions move by themselves. Then when you see me with the team, you know we gonna get busy. This is all real niggas, but real lines go by itself. You don't move with packs like cowards, hyenas, baboon shit. I don't like that shit. That's why I don't respect none of that gang shit. Shit's a bunch of cowards, whole bunch of weak niggas trying to form one big body. When you tear the head up, the whole body's scattered. You massacre the head, they don't know what to do. They wanna get under you now. Mm. This niggas is crazy, man. Right, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you brought, nah, brought that that's, out that's of cool. me, man. That's cool. That's cool. I'm sorry you brought that you know, out of me. You feel how you feel. So yeah, let's, let's let's move yeah. forward now. So what happens next for, with you? That, that situation goes on. You know whatever happened. Yeah, we, we yeah. After I'm, that, what happened, what happened with Subzero after that? What you mean, like as far as your career wise, like you know what what goes on next? Oh, I went on to do magazines, right? You know what I mean? I did the Fat Puffs magazines. Oh, yeah, these shits right here, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got the jails locked down, man. You know what I'm saying? Went yeah. on because K Slay was doing this. Uh, you know, I came home and I said, "Okay, man, all those pictures you were sending me in jail, I was moving them shits like baseball cards, man. I had power." I said, "Yo, we need to take some of these pictures and make a magazine, right?" He don't remember this conversation. He said, "Yo, sup? You didn't give me that idea." I said, "Okay, I was the one in jail. You were sending me those pictures. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying?" So with the magazine K did, he I felt. He wasn't catering to the niche that I, so when my money got right, I did my thing. I like my thing kind of ratchet in the strip club, kind of underground, that real gritty. Mm -hmm. You know, K like did it like kind of upscale with, you know, the, uh, I don't think that life is real. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like that girl next door that's fine with the fat ass. And, 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 and then, you know, you can't get an interview out those bougie ass chicks. Oh, how dare you ask me that? You know, what? Uh, and, you know, they'll hang up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that type of girl in my life. You know what I'm saying? I need the real deal. Somebody who's real about themselves. So I got the exclusive interviews, man, and uh, tell you how these girls think. Uh, real articles, real wisdom, real life stuff. You know, teaching you. You know what I'm saying? It's real life stuff. And uh, the people like it. You know what I'm saying? People like it. You like this guy, G. I, I like, <laughs> people like it. Like it. <laughs> so let me, let me let me ask you a question. So, okay, so now is the mag. I have a question I wanted to ask you. I should ask you before we got into all that. What was your favorite interview when you was doing the DVDs? Like you interview Puffy, Foxy, favorite you interview a interview, lot of people. Man. Man. I see Sub Zero. Yeah, yeah. Like I see. Yo, my favorite interview was Fifty Cent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, I asked him, man. I said, Yo, I heard you cut off Olivia because she wouldn't give you no pussy, man. Like he loved it. He loved the real. Adamant, you know what I'm saying? That's right, why I right. say, y'all say, I said these guys here, y'all, is like the new improved me, man. Cause I heard y'all go hard on questions. Mm -hmm. I said, yo, they, oh, they made it through boldness and audacity, man. Like they asked them, you know what I'm saying? So that, I was, you know, Fifty Cent, and then I knew so much, like him, you know, uh, not hitting Ja Rule, taking his chain, then having his son wear it in the Yankee Stadium. He was bugging that I knew all this stuff. It was like, wow. What, what, what was his response to the Olivia thing? He said um, that he was spending millions of dollars just on her wardrobe. 
It's like, yo, she had to have this. He said, he said the investment wasn't worth what she was kicking out. So he said he just had to let her go, man. You know, but he was asking, like, he gave everybody a 20-minute interview. He gave me a 45-minute interview. I back. see it. Yeah, I see mm-hmm. it right here. Yeah. And, and and that ain't even all of it. Like, when I, when I you know, now I'm doing YouTube, I'm going to leak it, let the whole thing go. But 50 Cent was dope. That was your favorite one? Yes, that I can think of right now. What was the highest selling one? Uh, the highest selling one was that Buffy and the Cameron, because Cam ain't speak to nobody in eight years. And so that was crazy right there. Like people went nuts, and then all of a sudden, my sales stopped. It went from like two thousand every Friday to nothing. Mm-hmm. And I asked the um, Africans what happened. He said they got everybody buy the DVD to see Cameron, but they got the whole interview on World Star. Oh. Then me and the Q niggas started beefing. You know we was beefing hard, man. Mm-hmm. Like I told him, man, yo, take my shit down, man. Y'all, y'all trying to shut me down? I said, take a little piece of my interview. Rest to in tease peace, them, cute, rest man. in peace, mm-hmm. to tease them, you know what I'm saying, so they can get my DVD, y'all just, just violated, and then, you know, he had sold it to some uh, some people, man, and, you know, they didn't know, I'm arguing with these white ladies, and all, take my stuff down, man. That was the first uh, time that you experienced the the, the, the transition between a DV, to, from DVD to, like, the uh, online stuff for you? No, what happened was, me and the Q dude had, like, an unsigned agreement, and I would hit the streets. We had some kind of weed thing going on. Mm-hmm. And I was telling guys, you know, give me a rack and I film you. I edit it up. I put it on Sub Zero and I put I put it on World Star for you. You know what I'm saying? That rack became like three G's. So if you knew you if you do Sub Zero, you know you're gonna be on World Star. Mm-hmm. So it was like a hand to hand thing, but when he sold the company, uh one of the guys hit me back talking about what's in it for me. And they did it at the wrong time because I was doing something for Kevin Childs. Like, Kevin Childs had Puffy drunk throwing 50000 Shout out Kevin Childs. Yeah, so Kev was like, yo, I see you got affiliation with Worldstar. I said, yeah, it's nothing. He said, I got some good footage for you. Can you put it on Worldstar? And I got a, a, a text back, what's in it for me? I said, yo, this is me, Sub-Zero. I said, yo, I'm going to tell Q on you, man. So I hit Q, and he gave me a price tag. So I said, Q, we here now? You steal all my footage, and now you charging me? And I said, yo, just put this one up here because I wanted to, you know, impress Kevin Child. He was a real gangster that I looked up to, you know what I'm saying? Real dude. And now it looked like I'm charging him. He's like, come on, sub. You get these up there for free. Now you asking for money? So now I got to hook Kev Child up with the guy because it don't look right. It looked like I'm, you know, snaking Kev now. Kev, like, I'm thinking you a straight up dude. And Kev, the one that got me the Puffy interview, you know what I mean? Like, he was pulling, you know, he made that happen. So, you know, me and World Star just fell out, man. We just got to real, you know, when me and Q was cursing at each other, you know, we had to say, don't let the beef with me and 50 fool you. And it was, it was got crazy. I called them all types of things. I don't, I'm ashamed of right now. But we was, you know, because y'all came up stealing my footage. Mm-hmm. But it was all right if I can get my money in the streets, getting people on there. But when y'all tried to charge me, so a lot of people don't know that. That was how, you know, I fell out with World Star. What happens next? Like, the, the bring us to the, like, the, you know, like, to then to now. All right, so um, I started doing Girls Going Wild DVDs. Like, I got sick of the rap because I didn't like what these guys were standing for. These guys was in the popping pills. Uh, oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. Home, no, yeah. No, we'll edit it out. Don't yes. worry about it. Yeah. Uh, homeless, homosexuals. Uh, you know, the young thugs and all these people start popping up. I was like, how, what I'm going what I'm to say to these guys? Yo, uh, what, what, what kind of coding are you using now? You know, like, uh, you know, like, it's like, it, it, it wasn't like Jimmy. Like, Jimmy stayed interesting. Mm. Yo, Jim, man, uh, I heard they uh, bum rush you here. We don't believe that, Jim. And Jim, you know, yo, smell me, you dead. Jim go in and it's a good interview. But these new artists, what I'm going to ask? Uh, what's that little Uzi vert? What I'm going to ask him? What am I going to ask him, man? He not fighting nothing. No. It's really no beef. They, you know, and I learned that who, they don't care who's featured on the album. They don't care who was the producer. No one cares about that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They say you a crip. You know, is this true? They want to hear that type of stuff. You know, or we hear you beefing with something. You know, y'all know. Y'all interview guys. They don't, they don't care how many people. 
So I had fell back and started doing all girls going wild DVDs, and then um, and then the DVD game just shut down all together because police started raiding all the stores. Mm-hmm. Said black men can't they get too much money, so they used DJ Drama as an example with the mixtapes. Then they started yeah, shutting down stores yeah. all together. So now uh, I didn't know nothing about online. There was a whole new world in me. So I just went into the tangible magazines. And that's how I've been surviving ever since, you know, magazines. Now I'm just now getting online. You know, mm. the YouTube is now paying me, you know, uh, subscribe sites and all that stuff. <laughs> Maybe soon, though. <laughs> <laughs> This guy is nuts. Yeah, I just need to, you know, look. I, I ain't coming here with no gangsters. Mm. That ain't gangster. You run around with a bunch of dudes, that ain't gangster, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This guy's tough, man. When you're in jail, you deprive the women. you taking showers with endless men. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's about 20 dudes in the shower. Jay, ignore him. I know he cold. He's jail. Just ignore him. Yeah, yeah just, so. no facts. You know what I'm saying? You go in the shower, it's 20 men in there. Mm. You in the cell with a cell buddy, man. He farting. You hearing them pee all day. You come home. I want to be surrounded by them. Mm-hmm. Straight like that. Like, you know, that was a jail thing. I was deprived of them so long that uh, I want to be around beautiful women, man. Straight so like how'd you meet her? Meet me sooner. How did I meet Mimi sooner? Talk. Let him hear your voice a little. How did I meet you? I forgot. You thought I was another Mimi. And I told you that I wanted to be in the magazine. You thought I was another girl. And when we met, actually, he was, like, confused, like, Hold on, like, remember? Yeah, okay, like okay, this is what happened. There was a girl named Africa. Oh, that's the one. That I met in the club. And Africa was, woo, mm-hmm. right? So, then, um. That's my real name, so. Yeah, she came out the building, and I'm like, you look good, but you look different, man. You Africa? She's like, Africa. I'm like, it's not Africa. So I said, come on, let's do this shoot. And um, she did a Wonder Woman. She came out this bathroom. I was mm. like, oh, my God. Like, yo, this is the same girl that was in my car? She looked good before. But when she came out in the three, the two-piece and all that, I said, oh, my. And we shot. And she was on the cover of that magazine. And people loved her, man. So I was like, wow. Then she got thicker. And uh, we, we came up with this one here. Man. It's like... <laughs> this is crazy. Like, but, <laughs> that's funny. That's how I mean. But what you what made you pick her today? Because I mean, obviously, you know, from your story, you you know, a million. Yeah. Or, or million today, ladies, you know today was a last minute thing, right? No one called me like. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Check this out. <laughs> no, this is real. No, you know, this is real. He could have picked anyone in the world. No, this is he real. Went, this is real. Right there. I'm today, the answer. Let's see. today, someone, somebody said they were gonna call me yesterday. Mm-hmm. They said we're gonna call you on. The night before. And um, they didn't call. Mm. So I said, okay, it's not happening. It's not happening, right? So I didn't really stress, you know, no girls. I wanted to come up here with like two or three girls. I, I don't know how we're going to do it, but it would have been nice to be on the couch. I don't wear jewelry. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm, I'm not a fool. So you're not going to see me in $3,000 pants and none of that crazy shit. Mm. I like girls. Keeping the one. And all I wear is Sub-Zero. I'm not wearing no, no. No Michael Kors, no Gucci. When you see me in the club, it's Sub Zero. All the time. All the time. I remember. Them people don't. Remember. People don't want us wearing their stuff. They telling. They making it clear. They telling you this. Mm. And yet we we running out to buy two two thousand dollar Montclair coat. Like are we crazy? People telling you we don't want you in our stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so yeah. When you see me in Sub Zero, I don't. I don't got off track. Which but oh, okay. Now how she got here? So. I'm like, oh shit! Somebody hit me today. It was like, yo, this the address. I'm like, yo, we on? Okay, you were supposed to call me yesterday. It was like, yeah, my bad. I was traveling. I don't know who was. So I said, okay. I took a shot in the dark. I said, let me. I said, who I know? And she was on my scroll down list. So maybe soon. But I know she from North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, uh, we hit. Oh my hit her. She's like, yo, I'm coming in. You know, I'm, 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 I'll be there for that. I'm like, yo, yeah, because these guys is big. You know, Queen's Flip, everybody telling me. She was like, okay, I'm coming. So I'm like, wow, she got up here for this, yo. You know hey, yo, me, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, y'all big, man. Y'all big, yo. That's what she said. Nah, thank you. I uh, appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so you just got the girls like that, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. If I had my way, it, w- it would be two more up here. You know what I'm saying? 
If I have my way, it'd be two more up here. Stop, but you get that button. <laughs> but she, she can hold it down. Times, right? yeah, let's go. Yeah. We had fun on the way here. We told everybody, yo, we going, we doing that. Yeah, had fun on the way here, huh? Yeah. We filming and, you know, all types of shit. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> 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 they yo, they God, got man. some inside, some inside going on. What's no, happening? It's just a, nah. I get it. I get it. Okay, okay. You got it? It's guy stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm yeah. slow. Now you, now you understand, watch, because I, I feel you getting it. You said you we, had, it. we had some fun on the way here. They're like, oh, some fun, huh? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you guys are guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> he cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> so explain it. I don't think you know. I don't think you know. Explain it. What you just did. No. Uh, so, so when a lot of guests come up here, they yeah. don't get the he cool man from G Money. So oh, when G Money said he cool, that means you did something magnificent. So that's why I was laughing because I kept every time you talk, you see me looking at him. I'm like, because I gotta watch G because he came out of nowhere. So I said, is he go? Because yeah. he said you said a couple of things like, yo, he gonna get the he cool. That's yeah, why I kept yeah. looking at G. Waiting, he's like, yo, a little waiting. more. Give him a little more. I said, no, don't give it to him yet, G. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. why I kept telling him, don't give it to him yet. <laughs> You know what okay. I mean? So when you said that, he said, I'm going to wait to see yeah. what he says next. And yeah, you yeah. said that, and that's what he said. He cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Damn, G. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. We appreciate you coming down here. Yeah, for yeah I, I, need, I, I need something nice. And um, plus, she did my magazines. And, you know, she need to shine. Like, I'm trying to get her, you know, next level. You know what I mean? Mm. Respect. Mm. She got that look that everybody like. The bad girl look. I know. I don't see the bag. Tattoos and she all that. We supposed to oil her up, though. We, I, we got Can the we, oil. Uh, There's no oil. Yeah. There's no, no oil. oil. There's no oil. If we get oil, you, you going to oil, oil up for this? Uh... Yeah, we oil, she oil up for the camera, man. But I, I, I don't want y'all to get messed up. I got up. some lotion in the car, man. No. I don't know. What? I don't got no oil. Lotion won't work? No, lotion. Yeah, it smells good, though. Jesus. Yo, that's me. That's... I got no oil. Bro. Oh. Wait up. Damn, hold up. Let me get this right. Page sti- the page is sticky over there, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sticky in the joint. <laughs> hold up. Show these guys. Show these guys. <laughs> the sticky pages over there. Who body is that? That's, that's her, yo. She oh. came a little weight since then, but this is her. Mm. Nah, that's her, that's Turn to the next page. Okay. The next page is in 3D, right? Mm. Right there. Ooh. So, you know, the guys, they saran wrap the page, you know, and they go in the shower. You know, in the joint, they saran wrap the page mm. and they go in the shower. Guys getting stabbed up over this because they tearing pages out. Mm. People magazine they borrowing. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't want the violence, but you know, it's real in the jail. These things are serious, and the interviews is real. The interviews is real. Everybody keeps that. That's that one thing that everybody keeps hitting me. Like, I'm like, oh, is that really your words? I'm like, yeah. The end, you know, I ask him, yo, how much can y'all take? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all spit out a swallow? What's too big? What's too small? You know, real shit that guys want to know. You know what I mean? Here so it's real. So can you tell us about yourself real quick? Like, can you can you tell? Damn, us about, G, you were gonna. Hug? Yeah, tell us about yourself, <laughs> man. Yourself. So you you here? Yeah, I mean, okay. yeah, put that mic. Yeah, mic. Okay. Let me know who who, who, who Mimi is, is, man. Um, I'm right now. I know those oh, who watch them, are gonna want to know that they're gonna let this girl sit on the couch the whole time. Like, who is this lady sitting on the couch? Yeah, yeah, cause we we did a roller coaster with me, but yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay. I wonder who Mimi is. They gonna um, actually, they gonna be like, why is she sitting there the whole time? Say, say nothing. Well, I'm a, um, I'm currently a stripper and a substitute teacher, oh. and an aspiring actress. Um, I have one daughter. I live in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Um, my dream is to be a mortician and own my own funeral service. I love to twerk. I love to shake my ass. I also do porn, and um, <laughs> like. <laughs> I like the realness. I like to do everything. <laughs> Where you get that door? <laughs> I like girls, guys, orgies, one on ones, two on two, three on two. Sub zero life. I know bubbles out there. Bubbles, you out there? Bubbles. She out here losing her mind right now. Like, listen to this. Oh, she. Come, bubbles, oh, come. I thought you were out there listening. Like, oh, she. Come, bubbles, real quick. Yay! Oh, sh- yo. What's up? <laughs> Damn. Bubbles I, got bubbles, oh, yo. Oh, no, no. Get the hell out of here. Bubbles. 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 God damn it. But, um. They got yep. Vegas from last time. What's up? Yeah, she did. Man. Damn. That's nice. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You might put it in the cover, front cover. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, so, you know, you can, you can talk to her before you leave, so I'll get set up the yeah, yeah, go ahead. I just want to. I know she like. I know I heard bubbles in there. I, know she, I thought you meant like listening. No, I know she was. I know she was moving around. Right. I know her bubbles. I knew she was here. Oh yeah. yeah. I thought you meant like listening, watching the show. I know how bubbles is. She likes stuff like she that. She probably about. <laughs> she, yeah. Mm. Um, I'm just. I'm a fun, happy person. You're in porn. Yeah, I'm also a, a substitute teacher, and I'm also a stripper. I'm actually going to strip somewhere tonight. Anyway, can Hi. you tell us about the porn real quick? Um, okay, it's crazy because I was, I'm not going to lie to y'all, like, I wasn't, like, you know, spoon-fed when I was growing up, so it's not, like, something, you know, I was, like, forced to have to do. Um, I'm recently separated because I was divorced, um, I was married for a long time, so, yeah, um. But what so, you mean you wasn't spoon-fed? Come on, I, don't, don't paraphrase, this is your, this is your take okay. the script. All right, so, like, you know how most people were like, oh, I was forced to do this, I had to get into this life. I wasn't, I was in Catholic school all my life, and, um. Then I got married right after high school. Everything was all sweet. But then I'm like, you know, even when I was with my husband, I'm like, our honeymoon, we had a threesome with uh, his cousin, you know, like one of his cousins. Like, I was always that girl that was into, like, extra, extra, you know, let's do some crazy nasty stuff. Keep it stuff. in the family, man. See, this this, this, is, this is life right here. Like, really? This ain't like... that bougie shit. <laughs> oh. so, I can hang with her and have a ball. We can have some fun. <laughs> do we some foursome? We can have some fun, you know, because it's real. Ain't, you know, so but wait, go ahead. You, you, go ahead. You, had, you, had, you smashed him and his cousin. Yeah, um, on our honeymoon, we both we all did it together. It was great. It was fun. But, but they they both did you like it, it wasn't like they was on some fruity stuff. I mean, later on, it kind of was like we were all you know, uh, everybody was into everything. But but that night at, on our honeymoon, it was just they. I was sucking his dick, and I was his cousin was, and then they switched positions, and you know, it was fun. It Took was great. The script. But, you know, it was like later on, was, I don't know. He just kind of got obsessed with me after a while, and I felt like, ah, I felt like a caged animal, you know? I was like, this marriage is just not going to, um... I was married since high school, though. But let me ask you a question. Your childhood was bad? No. You had a good childhood. I had a great childhood. What did you going to Catholic school? Yeah, she got to, had to have a Moms did what? Loved me dearly and gave me everything I wanted. What was the occupation? Uh, my mom, well, my dad took care of my mom because my dad... He did a lot of, he had his hands in a lot of things. My dad was a, um, what do you say, like polyamorous, polygamous type guy. But yeah. all of them was cool with it. And I mean, I really. Oh, polygamy, where well, he had more than one wife. Yeah. He, my dad has 15 kids. Hmm. So you got, <laughs> this lifestyle came from the. I mean, I guess you would say that, like, but I He's never. Jeez, it's no. like it's something that I wasn't really acknowledging or. It wasn't brought to my attention until I got older, you know. But yeah, um, yeah, because when I was younger, everything just seemed normal. So I mean, so your dad, you you was there living with fifteen women? No, my dad had all of them in separate houses. He took care of everyone like very well. So you know, what did he do though? You don't know what he did. No, I know exactly what he did. He did a lot of things. You just like, can't say it. Or yeah, oh, respect respect to your father. So let's walk us through. Now I'm gonna ask you a question. This may you be can ask me hard. anything. Did you go through any traumatic thing? Growing up, that made because usually women, I, I may, I'm assuming, but they go through something traumatic. I don't want to mm -hmm. go into that. I don't want to say the word. Mm -hmm. You know, but I know she's like like rape or some molested or something. No, never, never, never was taken advantage of. No. Nope. So what made you want to do porn? Um, honestly, I always wanted to strip and always wanted to be a playboy. I've always wanted to be like, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just always. My, I always wanted to be naked and sexy and just, cause okay, the thing was this: when I was like in middle school and Catholic school, I went to St. Francis and um. You'll get naked now. Not right this second, but I don't mind. Like, I don't mind like taking my pants down and stuff like. But you anyway, see, it's real here, man. This ain't no bougie no, shit. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying we, we could do that. We could do that for the Patreon, but I'm just saying okay, for, okay. for the cover shot for Sub Zero's cover shot. Cause you know we edit the cover shot. I was thinking that he could sit there smiling. And she could have, like, bend no, over. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, that's, I don't want to get gonna, flagged, but she got to. It's going to shoot up crazy. Yeah, but I think I think so. We yeah. could shoot two shots like that. That would be dope. That would be dope. That would be dope. Yeah, but, um, yeah. yeah, so, like, I've always, I kind of was, like, in middle school. I had a thick eyebrows. I had, like, and I never got to be that sexy, sexy girl. So, you know, I lost my virginity one day before my 18th birthday. I was kind of, like. I was ready to just break out, and when I was ready to break out, I broke out. Like, it was like, uh, yeah, I'm out here. Like, I want to... I tried to get married after high school and all that shit. My whole time, I just kept turning my husband out every day more and more. Kept getting him to do crazy, crazy shit. And I just realized this shit ain't working. Like, I need more people involved in this thing. Like, 
So you like trains ran on you and stuff? You fine with that? Yes. I don't look at it as trains being ran on me. I look at it as orgies or just me having a good time. <laughs> yo, look at it. Yo. Because hey, yo. why is this seem like, okay, yo. when girls want that, it's like a bad thing. Like, oh, you let them hey, niggas run a train on you. But, I, I, hey, I, I, let, me, let, me, let me interject. Yeah, who? I know a lot of girls. You can, I, you know, you can sex them. They can come, squirt four times, make they self squirt four more times. Still not satisfied. Got to keep going. That's true. It's like one man just ain't going to please that itch. That, or it's a certain fantasy. You know what I, I'm saying? I, I'm, like, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been through it a lot. You know what I'm saying? I said, look, I can't hang no more, man. So mm. either two girls going to attack each other until I get right <laughs> for a fifth time, or I got to drop off somewhere else. You know, not her, but you know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, yo, it be like that. That's real. Yeah, it's like That's that. real, yo. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's fantasy. It's like you know. It's it don't matter how good you do with a girl. Like if you if you don't bring her fa- her fantasy to life, it'll never work. Like yo, ain't nothing worse than hitting the girl. You thinking you can't calm? She done squirted, did all that, and you can't go no more. And she's in her mind. She's like, I need still, to go. Like come on. Yeah, yeah. Like you feel like a chump. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's, it's real shit like that out there, man. So, your, your, sorry, you got So uh, two questions. I'm gonna ask you. Oh, man, GL, I love this dude. I just I'm just thinking because the door is rolling now. So I'm thinking like you said you wanted to get married before you tried it. It wasn't enough for you, right? So what? So what can be enough for you? Like can can you can you find a a guy to the uh, sit just, down and get married and satisfy you? Yes. You can. Yes. What does he have to do to, to satisfy you? The perfect, all right, my perfect guy. There we go, yeah. My perfect guy. My perfect guy is a guy like this. Complete loyalty. And this sounds selfish, and I really feel bad. Complete loyalty to what I want. Mm. Like, like completely wants to satisfy me in every manner. And it's like, and my dad used to always tell me, like, he used to always say, Africa, you don't want a husband, you want a slave. And I kind of think, like, do I? Because I was like, I don't. I just want you to do whatever I tell you to do. Like, if I tell you to choke me until I pass out, but then throw in much, enough water on me so I can br- come back to life, mm-hmm. you know? If I start going to convulsion or whatever, then do that. Now, if you choke me and I don't really pass out, I'm gonna be like, nigga, like now I'm mad. Like are you wasting my time. Like I'm um, aggravated now. This is kind of stuff being the interviews. Like oh, it's like guys love it. being so real. So everyone that's listening, make sure you go cop the right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just real. It's shit. real go, stuff. Go like I just want a guy who's gonna, you know. Be loyal to me, defend me like like his queen, like you know, just protect me and just do every sexual thing with me. Like if I'm like, okay, we're gonna bring a girl in, like ten girls in, and we're gonna you're gonna have sex with all of them, you're gonna have sex with me, or I just wanna watch you have sex with those girls. Like, we're gonna do that, and then it's not gonna be, and we're gonna be right laid up and having a great time later on. It's not a bad deal, man. But some guys, they get greedy or they get stupid or they get like you know, just stick to the plan, mm. like. You know, I don't mind stripping all day and night and bringing us, bringing us back the money, us back the money. Mm. Like we doing this together, we're building together. Like, yeah, like I don't stupid. know. Like guys is really they don't they and then they start thinking, oh, this girl's stupid because she want to do that. Is she stupid because of that, or she wants to build with you? Like? He into this stuff. G money, <laughs> hell, son. Yeah, he trying to figure out the site. G money is funny. So like he like this type of stuff, bro. I know this guy for years. So. <laughs> Man, you know, Yo, but see, this is good reading too, right? Yeah, good reading. reading. Yeah, plug, plug it, plug, tell people, man. That, <laughs> the, her interview is iller than that. Uh-huh. Her interview is iller than that. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> now you know what this I'm me too. Team, bro. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real private type of dude, so I don't really like. No one really could. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he tried a couple times on the show. Yo, G, blah, 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 blah. no, Back, or be you. outside. Yo, who this? Like, you never. It's never gonna. Oh, G, what are you into? Whatever. Like, I never really answered no questions. So to hear someone just openly speak. Whether yeah. it's you or her, what, like I'm just like wow, telling. And that's the kind of people saying? I like to be around. Girls, yeah. not that bougie shy shit. Got you. If, if we right here, if we say we're gonna get it popping. She'll get it popping. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. That's what we. That's what we got bubbles for. So we gonna do a, something for Patreon. Patreon is a site where people pay, and that's why I brought bubbles and I told her come in and and you know get on Patreon and I, I want you to just not be afraid to show yourself. That's what. That's just crazy. That's a tough bubble to come in. You didn't even know that. Jesus, wow. it's a surprise for you. But did, did you know? That, She's gonna be here. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and Boba, I know Boba back that heard her movement because you do her. Foot. She's 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 all warmed up right now. She's ready. She, I know. She's I know. on the grill right now. You gotta let some zero talk to her, man. She's oh. on the grill. <laughs> so so. Oh man. Do you have your any porn out? Can we? Yes. Um. Five Barrel Freaks and um. But that's when I was going by sweets, right? 
Is it on X video? I've seen one of them. I got. Yeah. I gotta check. Because I have a lot. Of, I have some girl like girl on girl stuff. What they call you on a, a, a... sweets? Mimi Suno and sweets. Because at first I was going by sweets. Um, I was shocked. Somebody sent me. Because he didn't even yeah. know I had started doing porn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh shit, Mimi. Like my ex is like, oh yo, you um, I seen your little porn clip, and I'm like, like my child's father was the first person to send me a clip. He was like, is that you? And I'm like, wow. He's like, oh. <laughs> He's like, we have been together for a while. What is it um, called? What's your name? Sweets? Yeah, my name was Sweets at one point. S W E E T Z or S? S. I'm trying to find your ex. Now it's hot this morning. Now it's hot. What, what, what's hot. the website? Hot in here. Five oh, yeah, Borough Freaks. Five, the number five. Borough yeah. Freaks. Okay. This with, with the white dude? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It didn't come up. <laughs> I'm trying to. All right, man. <laughs> No, because on it right now. Because that's what I got, Bob. Because we that's so crazy. Like, I, I say, Bob's. I want to do something Patreon. Let me Because we because we did something on um on the live the other day right. where Bubbles was wild and they ran like, where Bubbles at? So I said, Bubbles, come up here. Let's see what's going on. Bubbles got bubbles back there. Mm, 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 mm. Wait, five bars. Is this wait wait whoa. Five bar. I'm trying to find you, man. Wait, I gotta find you. you gotta give me the website. I mean, I'm gonna I'm going up here to see because it's up here actually. I have a. Cause like I said, my baby father he sent me a clip and he's like, "Yo, I'm just saying, is that I you? got you, Mimi. So you and the girl. Yeah, oh. that's one, but it's one. one but... <laughs> Wait, whoa! Here we go. Oh man, Indian bot. Whoa, which one you on the top or the bottom? I'm the. I don't know. I think I'm on the bottom at one. Yeah, that's like, an old just, one, right? That's an old. Yeah, one. this is the one. This is the one. Um, recently. I think. Did, did you pass that one? Is this the one he passed? Oh. Mimi Suno. Oh, we gonna do something for Patreon because yeah, all the so 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 so, so, so let's let's yeah. let's yeah let's get some let's sign out a little bit. So you have you have anything else to say? And I want you to position her to take a picture for your. For, for, nah, dope. That's dope. We are gonna do it. Yeah, a picture for your cover photo for YouTube. Yeah, that's for but you know she people. can't be naked. Right, she could do something. And whatever y'all say, whatever y'all say. No, you tell us. I'm just saying, like you know, when I edit the photo, I'm, let, let, let me show you what I did. I'm gonna show you something real quick. I just want to show you to understand. Yeah, I'm going to tell them my Instagram and all that. Uh, you see this? Look. You see this photo? My man, Luck Stevens. How the, I had the girl walk by. This is the first one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you can position her. That, that, that's the cover photo. That make right. clip. So you can position her. She can take a pic, whatever. But it just can't be like naked with YouTube or flag us. Okay. So whatever you want. But yeah, but give us... It, before before yeah. we sign out, is there anything that we didn't touch on that you want to talk about? Anything you want to, you know, that we didn't bring up that you might want to oh. speak about while you're here on the platform? Now, uh, I just want to give a shout out to the uh, Twin Towers. I want to give a shout out to Tony Trump. Mm. And uh, shout out to Pop Rossi Poe, man. <laughs> I fuck the homie. Why, you, why yeah. you took that video down with him and Gumby, they said? No, well, I didn't take it down. It's still up there. I guess somebody else probably ripped it. And oh. YouTube caught him. Yeah, because those, those, those interviews, man, got hits, god damn it. And YouTube unmonetized my monetize button. So they robbed me. You know what I'm saying? Really? It was like, yeah, I got so many hits off that um Gumby and Pop Rossi Poe. It was crazy. Shout man. out to both of those brothers. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Follow my uh YouTube, Sub Zero DVD Legend, my Instagram, Sub Zero Dot Man, uh website, Sub Zero World Uncut dot com. Yeah, shout out to Be Me Suno, man. Follow her. Tell them. Um, Be Me Suno. Uh issue sixteen. Definitely. Yeah, Fat Pulse Magazine. Definitely cop that for your loved one. All the dudes in jail. <laughs> this is real. We got real girls, real interviews, real answers, real questions, real positions. We keep you in the strip clubs. It's crazy. The magazines is jam-packed with action. Mm. Yeah. What's That's next for you, though, man? Oh. Uh, what do you see yourself? like? What, what do you see next for Sub-Zero? Next was Sub Zero, man. I was gonna go with the music industry, but uh, Synagogue of Satan got that piece all tore up, man. Mm. I mean, they rewarding buffoonery. So uh, I'm just doing the internet right now, man. The internet, uh, subscribes, you know, right, right. Uh, documentaries. I was always nice with that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of stuff uncovered. So I'm getting ready to just, you know, make it where you subscribe to see my girls, my documentaries. All my old stuff, old footage is going to be on YouTube right. in its entirety. 
Like I said, 50 Cent, I only used about 20 minutes of that interview. Mm. He gave me a 45-minute interview. So I'm going to let all the interviews out now, you know. So I'm just going to be... And Cam, Cam posted a clip on his Instagram. Yeah, that was that was good look there with Cam. Yeah, shout out to boy, Huddy Six. Yeah, rest in peace, Huddy Six. Them boys, them Dipset boys is interesting, man. People, mm. people love them guys, man. Wow. Cam, I put Cam up in... The views went crazy. Yeah, I see it. Killer Cam. All right, G. That's what's up. Yo, man, it's been dope. Man, appreciate you coming out to to the yeah. sitting on the couch with us here for the script podcast. Man, round of applause one time, my man, Sub Zero. Yeah. I like this interview, you know, G. I like dope. this. Another one. I didn't know where it was. Going I didn't know. Up. I had no idea. I was talking best earlier. I'm like, yo, we got Sub Zero, but I don't really know how we gonna like. What, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? How how we gonna twist and turn this one? But and I, I had no notes here either. Yeah. I my dream was blank over today. I just with Sub Zero, I wanted him to talk mostly because I wanted to know because you know you did so much things, man. But it's just amazing. Yeah, me like this turned out good. Yeah, man. it's different. It's different. <laughs> you like that. Type of stuff, G. Of course, man. <laughs> what, you know, that's, 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 anyway, let's, let's get out of here. Go to, I want to yes. go to the Patreon now. Let's, okay, let's go to the okay, Patreon. Okay. So, for those of y'all tuning in, man, oh, yes. yeah, you want to say something? No, that's it. That's right. it. I'm good. Um, mm-hmm. Make sure y'all follow the pages, man, at DJG1156, at Queensfoot with a Z, at Flip the Script Pod. You know, like, subscribe, comment. You know, we in the comments, man. You're on YouTube. Make sure you have the comments. Shout you know, out to G-Money for, you know, for actually, I, I want to commend you, man, and I have to commend you when I see you in the comments. Like, I, I, I remember me talking, talking to you, and you have stepped up in the comments heavy man and you are engaging with the people and you're taking their advice so salute to you for really taking this series I don't think people know how serious you take this nah, man. I'm on it, man. And shout out to everybody that you know every day I, I get reminded how how uh how uh dope the show is you know what I'm saying I, mm-hmm. I, I leave here I'm like okay it was cool but then you know your mind just like alright we did a show whatever move on let's go to the next show but I go outside in these streets and I'm DJing these events and stuff and people stop me every single day so shout out to everybody that's tuned in you know I, I get stopped in the delis I get stopped in the Walgreens and the in the uh, in the club, whatever, like you know, people, you know, uh, regular people, owners, girls, got everybody's like, yo, I watched the episode, da 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 da. So you know, shout out to all y'all that's watching, man. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Do me a favor, people. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if because before you know our time is very scattered. So if it was before, you know, shout out to my man Tiny. You know, we definitely gonna sit down. But if it was before where we had Team G Money, we would do this like this. But make a video. Send the questions you want to ask us on Flip the Script. It's going to be on uh, DJ G Money's channel. We'll make a video and, you know, G Money will decide which ones he wants to play. That's a fact. We'll play it on the screen. And then, you know, I'll answer whatever question. We'll do it before, you know, uh, the episode or whatever. And we'll answer it. And it'll be and you'll catch it on G Money's channel. Any question you have for us. So send a video at Flip the Scripts with a G at... With a, <laughs> I flip the Scripts with a Z at gmail.com. Or you can hit up DJ G Money 156... And, or hit up Basky, uh, B A S C Y underscore, and just ask whatever question. Send a video. Make sure you send a video, and your video will be answered accordingly. We're not gonna answer in the comments. We're not gonna do none of that. Send the video. You tag mm-hmm. us, tag G Money, tag myself, tag Flip the Scripts, Pod, tag that, and we will get to it. And I think that we'll take the time to answer it, and G Money mm-hmm. will upload it on this channel. That's dope. And then you'll see whatever questions, man. Hopefully, we get you know three questions would be good. So if you watch this. Uh, G Money gonna put out an announcement on this page. Actually, I'm gonna, you know, Marty two time. Whenever she comes, I guess she'll come. Uh, she come the next show. Next yeah, show, yeah, 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 yeah. And right. we'll do an announcement and we'll put it on G Money's page and we'll answer your questions because I know, you know, it's hard to. You, a lot of people have questions for us. If you could send a video, just ask us a question. Any question for me or G Money, and we'll answer whatever question you got for us. Let's do it. So, get, just Queen Flip, you already, you already yeah, heard. Yeah. Lock your doors, close your windows, close your blinds, open your blinds. And if you see a nigga like Sub Zero on your lawn, <laughs> let him in. He don't mean no harm. But if you see Sub Zero man on your lawn, don't be afraid to use a firearm. I'm from Queens. <laughs> oh! And if he bring Mimi Sumo on your lawn, let him in because it'll be real fun and ring the alarm. I'm from Queens. Let's go! Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs>